Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Boston Blue Beat. Uh, this week, uh, V2.3, this is our third Guilty Gear uh, Accent Core tournament um, of the year. Um, we would like to start on a, unfortunately, a very somber note. Um, a, a member of the Boston FGC, uh, uh, Tekken player, uh, Henry, was uh, killed in an act of uh, racial violence. Um, earlier this week, uh, it's been it's been on the news. You may have seen it. Uh, the, the family, uh, friends, and the rest of the Boca, uh, Boston Tekken scene have set up a GoFundMe. Um, you can see the link right there. You can use uh, exclamation GoFundMe as a command in chat. We'll pull up that GoFundMe. Uh, we will have that up uh, for the rest of the for the next two weeks. Uh, that that GoFundMe is active, um, and we we highly encourage you uh, to donate, uh, please. Um, it's, it is an absolute tragedy and uh, goes to show that there's still a lot of work uh, for us all to be doing um, to, to help us all move forward. Um, and, but to, uh, to kind of change tone uh, tonight, I'm going to throw things over to our commentators. Uh, we've got Agro Craig and Swell tonight, a uh, great duo, and I know they're going to show us some sick matches. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to shift gears from something so terrible, but yeah, uh, thank you guys course. for joining us tonight. Absolutely. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, please consider hitting up that GoFundMe and contributing. Uh, mem beloved member of the FGC uh, out there for the New England folks. And also, that's a, a terrible thing that shouldn't be happening. So please do consider hitting up that GoFundMe and contributing if you can. But uh, to, switch, to switch gears, as we said, welcome to Boston Bluebee, running some Guilty Gear Plus R. Uh, my name is Swell, and I'm here with Agro Craig. How you doing tonight? I am hanging in there, having a good night, ready for some sick-ass Guilty Gear. And we already seem to have our first match lined up. Let's do this. Yo, we got gear going already. Let's hop to it. All right, so we do have at least 16 people. I think maybe even a little bit more going on right now. And so our first match here looks like we got... Frothon, and I believe this is O. Um, also known as My Friends Are My Power. Very anime. I love it. <laughs> oh, Kai right. versus Zappa. So Kai versus Zappa here. So Zappa has the little bit of, you know, a little bit of wildness to him, and Kai keeps things a little, does a good job of keeping things uh, on lockdown. However, uh, does have some tools to deal with how Kai can try to lock things down. Oh, Greed Sever for the ground bounce there. And decent combo off of it. Gets back into mid screen. No ghosts out yet. That's gonna have to be where we. It's like Zappa needs to get something going. All right, the sword is out. Yeah, so Sword's out there. Sword does give you some very, very strong options. Able to push out the full screen here. Getting a couple... Oh, didn't get any souls off that. Why did he get a soul off that hit there? Yeah, he snuck through the stun edge to get rid of the Thor. Get stuff. Is that three reps of uh, three H there for comboing? <laughs> it was. He just could not shake out of it. Like, I was having it <laughs> on the struggle there. And solid first round by Proton. All right. Proton takes round one. Keep it going here. Hey, that's the same round started last time. I got deja vu, but a better combo this time around. Absolutely. All right. I was still just trying to get the feet underneath them here. Yeah, now but, it, can be, it can be really difficult too to try to deal with that once, you, once a Kai feels that their uh, pressure sequences are working on you. Ooh, yeah. third time for the green center, unfortunately. Yeah, Proton absolutely just confident to throw this green center out because so far it is not getting stopped. Now, oh, that's Disney. a dizzy there too. Oh, instant kill? Oh, gets oh, thrown out of it. All right, oh, all right, oh, I want this to happen. Oh, if all we right. can get the run back on this, that would be beautiful. Oh no, but once uh, more the green center. <laughs> <laughs> Use, using what brought you to the dance, uses Greed Sever to close out the round there. Alright, we're right back into it. Like, no time to take a breath. It's right, just so we, time. We did get a, a player side swap. That's how these lobbies work sometimes. So now we got Froton on the right, and we got O on the left hand side. Alright, so yeah, we got O needing to make some adjustments, probably starting with blocking high occasionally. Um, Greed Sever, <laughs> I mean, online Greed Sever is a meme, but I mean, it, if it hits, it hits. Yeah, but this know? is rollback. We don't have, there's no more excuses for online Greed Sever working. All right, what do we got? There, we go. Back back back. there we go. There we go. All right. All right. Uh, gets clipped there. Uses the burst a uh, little bit early, but oh. nothing wrong with that. Runs under the sun edge, but doesn't quite have that hitbox on the summit connect. It gets a hurt bad for it. Does that somehow cross up on Zappa more effectively than others? Because that's like the third time I've seen the cross up Greed's ever hit like that. Ooh, sun is in. It just, I mean, I believe in a lot of Zappa's game plan, there's a lot of running underneath aerial attacks, and that mm. might be what I was trying here, just get blown up for it. Oh, oh dog, the dog is just in the corner and not able to do anything. Damn, unfortunate. Bad dog, no biscuit. Oof, and yeah, like, it looks like I was just desperately trying to get a summon out, but cannot make it happen, because the pressure's too high. Alright, see what's gonna happen here now. Already pushed into the corner, stun for another knockdown here. 
keep using that oh. lightning after the knockdown. Get some ghosts out, but they're gone already. The ghosts go away on the clash. Oh no, the ghosts are there. They were just a little bit off screen, so it looked like. Oh, now oh, they're green sever. Brutal. Oh, the okay, ghosts maybe, are here. Maybe we can get some momentum going here. Ghosts are yeah. live now. Oh, they're good pressure pool, but not solid enough to stop FTD from just the knockdown. Mm -hmm. You guys use the sword horse to get get some uh, distance there. Didn't quite work out. Kai's rocking all the clutch frames. Oh, gets the DP. Got ghosts on deck now. Scores a little bit of damage there. Gonna have to do a lot of work though so far. Oh, interrupts the dust attack. There we go. All right, got some pressure with these ghosts. Okay, Run, here, here we go. go. Here we go. Let's get around. Well, the ride the lightning, but the ghost hit blocks it. High out of it. Wow. Well, let's dizzy. go. It's been dizzy. All right, oh, all right. All right. Once I was able to get their game plan going, there was some real results there. Oh, the grief sever back in effect. All right, what's gonna be? Oh, once more. There's so many. Ooh, I don't know if the greed sever, greed severs have missed, but I don't think greed severs have been blocked so far. Ah, there we go. All right. Not batting a thousand on the greed severs yet. Yeah, good ride the lightning to get some damage in. Oh, not able to confirm into the. I'm not sure if that was the Zappa sweep animation or what that one looked, or what that one was there with the link out, but not able to follow up that oh. either way. Pushing the corner now. All right, the ghosts are out though. This is what I got a lot of mileage last time. Oh, yeah, the vapor thrust. Oh, that was Jay, the deepest the hitting greed sever I may have ever seen. Runs underneath oh, the stun and able to get the first. All right, okay. here this we is go. the same situation we had last round, but oh, oh ends but differently tagged. though. All right, well, some signs of life from O there at the end, but unfortunately, a little bit too little, too late, and Froton will be moving on. Mm hmm. Froton advances into the bracket, and we'll have our next match coming up here in just a minute. Looks like our next match is going to be uh, PAG Vicky Viper going up against Furok. Oh, excellent. Uh, Furok playing under Revelations of Mankind today, and Vicky Viper had probably know her from a variety of games, and she's going to be showing up here. I'm guessing, I believe. Do you know who she plays say, in this game? I do not know who Vicky plays in Plus R. But like Vicky is one of those players who just plays so many different games that it's almost hard to just guess because it's just like, well. Mm -hmm. Whatever she plays, I'm sure she's got something fit or something solid, but like, I couldn't tell you. I believe I want to say it's Zappa based off of stuff I've seen on Twitter, but I'm not 100% positive. And, sure. alright. So we got Furok rolling in here, and do we know who Furok plays? Uh, Testament. Testament, alright. Ooh, very strong character, so no matter, oh, yeah. uh, and it seems like Furok's got some experience under their belt if that match count is anything to do. Oh yeah. Here. Yeah, Farrakh is definitely quite the solid player, like, a uh, well-known in the New England scene, big Jacko oh, player in Exert. Um, gotcha. But obviously, there's no Jacko here. Oh, wow, I was, Kai. was way off on that Zappa pick. We got Kai yeah. instead. You know, if you're going to be, if you're a solid player with really good, like, good background, Kai, yeah, give you a chance to express that. Ooh, nice pink color, too. My bad, Vicky. Please forgive me. All right. But, I mean, Testament could be a real nightmare, so let's see how this one goes. Right, let's get to it. Oh, nice! Just ground start counter. Hey, ooh, nice gets throw out the of the XP pressure. You love to see it. Oh, I like that Kai's sword is pink too. Beautiful. All right, first out. Oh yeah, right. look at that. Charge stun edge. Does it got uh, FD to far enough away that the three H couldn't hit to give all those plus frames? All right, the side switch from Testament, and now time for some pressure. Ooh, ooh. almost slides away from the XP beast, but they'll get tagged. Got the curse there. Okay, gets rid of the net. Curse is still in play though, so really this is something we're just gonna have to find a way in through all this pressure now that Firox got the curse up and running. Because it seems Firox is very comfortable playing with this curse. Oh, uh, yeah, the curse has expired, fired. and now it's Vicky's turn to do some fun stuff. Or right there, this pressure. Oh, gets clipped with. I believe that was the overhead there. Oh, Greed Sever, there we go. The Abare Greed Sever. All right, good combo. Sets up a seal. Oh, I Great love that. Up. Double use of the seal uh, there, that was wonderful. FRC on the stun edge in the air as well to come back down and cover any up back attempts. Beautiful. It's stun edge tagging him out of the... I don't remember exactly what the... That slicey move is called, I guarantee you Tails will tell me. <laughs> All right. Tails Rock, does, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> setting up a net, but Vicky making good use of the stun edge to trigger traps before having right. Counter used again as well to get that poison going. This poison doing so much damage here. Oh, yeah. Poison characters in Guilty Gear, like, you hate to be pet tagged with it because you're just feeling yourself drain away. This curse yeah. is online, the beasts are going. Farrakh is an element right now. 100% playing their the game defense, though! Oh, but you can't block forever. That was some excellent defense by Vicky, but... 
Yeah, yeah everything out there. That block sequence lasted like almost a solid 10 seconds. Very nice work from Victor. Four spring oh. version. Hit with. Yeah, hit with the low, but I've and then with. Oh, round start counter didn't work this time. Uses the burst instead to get out of it. Good adjustment. <laughs> Alright, Nets getting to put on place there, but. Oops, worked out. Get push forward. Oh, back back into the combo. Ooh, there was a tree. The trees are there, but good blocks again. Goes for another counter if he gets punished again. I feel like if you've played games, uh, if you've played a lot of games where there's a lot of stuff on the screen, you're primed to fight Testament, since Testament does so much like projectiles that are out there for ages, or you have to watch out for. Nice, solid combo. Oh, I love that confirm there with that, what, that 5p uh, yeah, for the confirm that yeah. getting out there? Nice relaunch. Dang, that's some of the stuff. I don't know exactly what the optimal Kai stuff is, but if it's not that, it resembles it at the very least. Right? Um, so it looks pretty effective. The Force Break Curse just controls so oh, much. Tree hits, there's the curse yeah. as well. I'm sure you handle this. Block with force break. Nice. One more hit will do it. And that does it right there. Stun Edge happens to, or manages to find its way through all that, and Vicky takes game one. Yeah. Furrock can definitely take take a good control of a situation for the low low cost of 25 meter by using that force break curse because of just the homing the curse even on block it's just such a solid situation such a solid tool but vicky has proven herself very capable of navigating the curse so far indeed indeed but furak a player who's been around for a while will certainly have the tools ready to make adjustments here we'll have to see how it all plays out yeah definitely showed solid pressure and good use of the traps already so just Need to make things go a little bit more for Ox way, and maybe we can even this up. Yo, Kai's clothes match the carpet here. Look at that! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, gets clipped with the normal there. Ah, not able to convert into anything further. Curses on deck here. Overhead. All this pressure. Overhead clipped and find its way through. It's the airhead, not able to convert into anything else but get the net on screen. Nice convert oh. off the EXE beast using the crow feathers as well. Yeah, it's one thing that I, I really like watching contestant players. Uh, they know their sequences. Oh! Is that really? a backdash on that Badlands? That was sick. That was so good and got the seal out as well. That whole combo sequence there came from having the seal placed and then converting off of that touch. That was so sick to see. It's great presence of mind. All right, back to Jackie Jackie's position a bit. Another convert off the oh, beast. Oh, be around. Net. That'll do it. That does it. Dang, and that had some more to go, too. I always get so hesitant about calling gear round just because of the way uh, Guts works. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost nerve wracking. With a, with a round like that, it's like, oh, Furox still had way more in the tank. And that com. Ooh, nice right. sweep out of the. Oh, the counter is back online. And yeah, so the poison here, it doesn't get its true strength when you're at full health because one of the powers of the poison is that it powers. It doesn't. It's not affected by scaling. So it does exceptionally well against the low health character. Characters yep. when they're at low health. Yeah, and I believe like we were talking about guts, I don't believe Poison cares about guts at all. So exactly, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Certainly doesn't hurt to have that hit somebody at round start, right. but the real value is when they're at the lower end of their health bar. Great blocks there. Jumps out to avoid the beast. Oh, tries to go in, but the beast is there. So much meter on deck here for Fearock to either take control or possibly Three extend dips. it. Completely. Yeah, no, use that 25 meter for the curse, but hits <gasps> the testament to make it go away. Beautiful. Yeah. Able to slide on it under there. Oh, what's the combo gonna be? A lot of meter now for Vicky as well, so she's got hella options too. We do have burst available from Pure Rock for this round. Oh, tries to oh, the Badlands through. Next it win. The Badlands takes it. Oh, whew. All right, good comeback there from Furok, taking that game strong. We got one round apiece here. Nice, good competitive match. Very exciting match as yeah. well. Also, I called it set for early in our bracket. All right? I called it's it. It's a EXP. different. Yeah. Well, go ahead. It's a different move name when it's a force break? That's wild. It Still, is? This game is wild. Apparently, force break version of the ba of Badlands is called Gravedigger. Oh, it's, wow, so I was like wrong on like three levels, because it's not EXE, it's force break, because EXE is EXE Beast, and it's not even called Badlands anymore, it's called Gravedigger instead. Oh, God. Wait, is Gravedigger named after the monster truck? I hope so. That's so, it better be. Alright, let's go. Getting back right. into it. Taking the oh, damage. the dust! Ooh, the 5D! But not the a huge combo. Yeah, that looked perhaps a uh, hard burst bait. We see those sometimes, you know. Oh, wow, Dash is underneath the uh, stun edge there. Oh, that makes more sense, Flack. It makes way more sense that it's named after the German metal band than the monster truck. The monster, monster truck, truck also possibly named after the uh, Gets the curse online for Frog here. 
Let's go. Wow, Who get him? Blocks, though. Nice done by Vicky. Oh, I like the force break, uh, or not force break, the FRC there to try to get in after the beast was placed, but didn't quite work out. Oh, big conversion here, gonna carry into the corner. Gets the net. Gets another net, going so high up. Alright, loses the corner, but still has EXE beast, so, you know, not too bad. Could be a much worse situation. It's up and away from the skull. Nice work. Yeah, yeah great movement. I mean, yeah, sure, ends up a little bit in the corner, but already fighting my back out of it. I mean, I'd rather be in the corner than have the uh, skull on me. Solid air to air, and then... Oh, the counter, but gets the counter <laughs> gets blocked. Nice. The seal takes the first. Are you dead? Not quite. Oh, oh there's the curse. Yeah, this could be all that Farak needs here. Like, one hit will absolutely do it, but I the curse. I'm going to have to find a way to build up some bar if uh, she wants to get some more options on deck here. Oh, no. She does have burst as Dude, well. She does have an double, escape option. There it is. Double Grave Digger. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, the Stun Edge catches right before EXP Beast can become active. What a match! Down to nine seconds as well. All right, one more round for Vicky Viper to take this and uh, stay on the winner side of the bracket. You're up though, not out of this just yet, and that's a pretty good way to start things off. That counter works on everything. Beautiful. I'm with you too, Flack. I love watching Testament things. Especially, and Furok is more than willing to bring those for us. Always got those fancy combos. Oh, he's nice on the tree. Oh, six P's just through all that. Really? Okay. Of course. You know. Oh, oh, there's down. The now, order, too. This is what I'm talking about with it. Look at the poison ticking through that health through the guts. It, okay, yeah. so Dr. Tag Vicky Rogue. To make that go away. Good stuff. There it is again, though. Look at this damage. And Wow, okay. You know, you gotta let the combo, let the poison stick around for a little bit, Vicky. I don't like you interrupting my commentary like this. Very rude. Let's throw. <laughs> nice. Get the FRT off the throw, too. Alright. Oh, hits, but just gets the knockdown. Interesting. I wonder if that's always supposed to do that, or if that's because uh, there was a jump there, possibly. Not Way sure. There to air. First up on Furok here. Oh, look at that mindfulness from Vicky there. Knew that the counter was possibly coming for the side switch to try to get behind her, and was already prepared to move back if the counter came out. That was so smart. I still respect the option from Furok, but yeah, Vicky was ready for it. Good stuff. Damn. All right. Heck of a step for both players. Yeah, two games for uh, Vicky and one game for Furok. Vicky advances on through the winner side of the bracket. Furok sent down to the lower half of the bracket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, the stream gets to be treated to, once more to the Korean OST the JMD has in their game. It's good <laughs> stuff. All right. Looks like next up we're going to have Lem, one of the regulars of the Boston Blue Beat tournament circuit that's been going on, uh, playing Justice, if memory serves. Lem? Lem has Cliff, played Cliff, Cliff. That's what it is. I knew it was one of the one of the the later characters. One of the plus R's. One of them plus R folks. All right, so that's going to be Cliff versus Zappa. <laughs> Yikes! Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Phoebe is on uh, Zappa, and uh, yeah, got to got to be got to be rooting for my girl. Yo, what oh, up, man. Tatters? I'll see you in the stream. Lem, both in in the lobby and in the stream chat simultaneously. Shoutouts. Lem with several underscores. Yo, I'm ready now. I started learning Cliff move names. Awesome. It's, I mean, it's still the sword wiggle to me. Oh, I, I call it the cobweb cleaner, because he's like, we're clearing out the cobwebs. Nice. Yeah. Or, or the right. chimney sweeper, but that might might have some connotations for folks, so maybe not the chimney sweeper. Yeah. He has the f Whoa. What a song this is. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, I'm not. All right, nice. Uses the JD for the bad kick to the other side. Doesn't get too much out of it though. The big chop takes the burst. All right, just, just Lem, known to just use those big hitboxes the Cliff has to offer. Mm-hmm. Well, good back dash though. Gets the sword. Yeah. Oh, sword is that this is really hard to deal with here. Oh, uses the nape saddle to get up oh, and over. Yeah. Uh, I was just, just so happy about knowing the move names, and I forgot the name of the sword pony. Damn. Oh. Big overhead. The damage that Cliff can output is just so wild. And it's dead. wild. That 6H does so much. Oh, yeah. All right. Dogs. All right. Total Cliff, rib, the dog is. is. Into the bellow. There Into you the go. Egg. Into the fried egg. Okay, right, Ghost on deck here. I think this, this might be pretty good for Zappa if Zappa can get some space with the Ghost, just because yeah. uh, it's a zoning option, and I imagine that Cliff has trouble dealing with that. Yeah, other than that, the aforementioned Nate battle, Cliff has a tricky time closing the distance, but right now, Lem has no interest in allowing BB to play. 
Yeah, it's, it's another thing, too, where I guarantee you that Lem has fought more Zappas than BB has fought Cliffs. Ugh. Unfortunately, oh, the burst with such yeah. low health. Unfortunately, that super was barely on screen, so we didn't get to see the worst dragon. But, <laughs> <laughs> great play by Lem there. Yeah, Is that I mean, what you know. The worst no. dragon? No. <laughs> it's just a really bad dragon spray. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been able to not see it since Dogbot pointed out to me that that is a very bad dragon sprite. Uh, I gotta say, calling it calling it bad dragon as well is also gonna have problematic connotations, but that's a whole... Okay. Alright, okay. Uh, the questionable dragon. <laughs> yes, the worst dragon. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, back at it here. Phoebe is uh, down a game, and we got Lem up a game here. We'll set to see what the adjustment is made, or if any of it can get made. Fellowing Roar gets burst off. Got the sword on deck here. Does have very strong options with the sword. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, got the combos. Swords in, swords in action. No more. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's so far oh, away. No. Alright, now it is gone. Gold pressure gets in. Use the bell. Ooh. Alright, All right, swords back on. Up and over. Chris, uh, oh, fishing with that, with that 2S for some reason? Oh, nice! 2S into the Bellow, into the FRC for the follow-up. He had a solid air throw, the guy just trying to get out of there. Mm -hmm. oh, great stuff from Lem again. Phoebe still just trying to get him, get some momentum going. The dog is in play, we got a sandwich. Phoebe does have really good execution uh, when she's able to get her uh, sequences up and running, but it can be... But of course, if you can't get those up and running because you can't get control of the neutral in the situation, it's uh, kind of hard to deal with. It's absolutely a challenge. And like, the fact oh, that that picks up a new soul, occasionally I'm just getting knocked down. Like, you gotta be able to react mm -hmm. so fast in the situation you find yourself in. Almost to Rao, so... Yeah, he's is, not, not sitting in a terrible is, yeah, condition. Yeah, that's a heck of a tone changer. Oh, but the first is... Alright. First is gone, but still alive. Good watch the sword. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm not sure why, uh, why ride the sword to get oh, to get pressure up. Oh, no. Has a lot of meter here, so it does have some tools to use to possibly try to reversal out. Mmm, gets clipped by the... I believe that's J2H from Cliff there. Didn't work out, though. One I'm, of the... One of Cliff's associated... Assorted large sword hitboxes. Right? Brutal. I think right, it's just well, J8, good stuff, my bad. Good stuff from Lem. Alright. Alright, big ups to Lem. Phoebe sent to the lower half of the bracket. We got Tails and Cyan Plaza coming up next. Tails rocking that on. Gee, Cyan Plaza. I uh, just played a set with them last night. They were uh, they were playing pretty well then, so hopefully that works out for uh, them in this particular set. Gonna be and playing you mentioned them as a Faust player, right? Yes, fantastic. Yes. Oh no, we mixed them up. All right, dang! Cyan Plaza bringing tons of games to the table. These two players, mm -hmm. between them, having five thousand games of Guilty Gear. Yeah, All right, Chad. Uh, Lem they... attempted to get Holy Orders question mark on the stream and was foiled. <laughs> Worth noting. Was trying to get it. Wow. He chose that song and was upset that it did not come up. Yo, I do need Holy Orders. I need Holy Orders in my life. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not the Robokai one. Yeah, the Robokai one is brutal. No, I want the Robokai one! <laughs> yeah, well. Dang, All right. Cyan is right! Yeah, right? I had to fight up against this visually abrasive character. All right. Abrasive in every way. I love it. Let's see how they do against uh, Tails Anji here. Tails, one of our regular players here in the Boston Blue Beat scene. Cyan, I believe their first time showing up to it, but I'm thrilled to have him here. Yeah, absolutely. All right, J2K. All right, we got Robokai coming in from the back end here in just a minute. Yeah, there, there he is. Poison play. Looking like... All right, here we go. Tails is starting to get the pressure. Ooh, that Number two, Anji. Follow up first. Remember, Anji's got that high, high guts class, so, you know, that last little... That last, like, oh, I got him half dead? That's a lie! And, I mean, as soon as Anji's got some momentum going... Uh, nice block on the bomb bag. Right? Oh! Ooh, the overhead. Watch the overhead that time. Nice, nice. Quickly uh, catching on to what Tails is going for there. Oh, the the is unblockable. I love it. Alright, doors to get out of there. Robokai in play. Oh, but knocked out of the air before that cool setup could have a chance to happen. Unfortunate. Oh, nice. Uses the JD to try to catch out the, um, uh, you believe it's called Love? <laughs> Whatever the, the Faust head tosses. Love is, love is the bomb bag, yes. Uh, 
I mean, Faust obviously takes to the air quite a bit, but Andre is a very difficult character to go air to air with. Absolutely. Oh, bomb by that. Oh, he uses the burst to get through the bomb. That was so sick. Tails, At least you the Faust getting hit by their own bomb. Tails is such a Tails is a genius. Tails, that was so sick. Here we go. Nice pressure, RT to maintain. Oh, he's hit by the overhead, but pushed far away out of the corner, though. All right, first, take the corner back. That was an inter interesting interaction, but Tails fighting way out. Beautiful. That, I'm still shocked that the uh, yeah, bird that was threw the bomb. Incre incredible presence of mind. And I mean, you know, like, Tails, presence of mind is definitely one of those things that I, was, I can expect from Tails. Mm -hmm. Like, just got, got that beautiful head in the game at all times. Just, like, smart yeah. conversions. What is going on in the soundtrack? <laughs> Why are there race cars going? Someone should, uh... So Someone ought to clip that and send it Tails way, because I have a really sick, uh, heads-up play with the burst there. Oh yeah, alright. Speaking of burst, Ooh, gets the jump in there. RDM. Oh, carried to the, the other corner. Already. Well, oh, Robokai's here, though. Coming to the aid of Faust. You know, I gotta say, I think Tails didn't forget about it, just didn't care. Yeah, just, I mean, like... How much more can you do than carry your opponent to the opposite corner? <laughs> and there you go, it didn't end up mattering too, too much. See, this is the thing with Tails, too. Like, you, you do, like, okay against Tails one round, and then Tails has played so much gear and so many fighters in general for so long, that then Tails, like, quickly pieces together, like, oh, this is what you're about, and has already, like, <laughs> yeah. This is, the, this is where I need the food to kill you. <laughs> Alright, this is the grab ender here, butterfly set. Butterfly go ahead, nice. Once more block board they go. Good block right. by Cyan, gets the knockdown, but ooh, the air throw back into the corner, and then the on back out. Butterfly's on deck there. Oh, block the stomp. Nice. Can get a punish on that stomp if you're uh, heads up for it. I believe it. Uh, That's gonna hurt. Yep. If that going my way doesn't make it back to the ground, Faust is in a very vulnerable position, but... Ooh, catches a grab there. Oh, oh nice. the hack and slash. Full bar on uh, Tails, though, so Tails can find a way to yeah. get uh, any relief here. Block anything, and the Auto Guard Super could be a factor as well. Yeah. Oh, Use the RC there to keep up the pressure. Ah, the oh, overhead! Good force break shot! You know, Len, I saw that too, and I also do not know what happened there. Yeah, I've seen it happen twice in this, it appears. It seems like it's interesting. Interesting behavior. Gets the knockdown in the corner again. Oh, nice the ambiguous stuff. 5D into JD into on to set up the butterfly pressure. But yeah, oh, gone again. Again. Why is the butterfly going away? My <laughs> money is on um, Faust is too short, so it is not actually being blocked. Because Faust is very, very short, and the butterfly does go away if not being blocked. But, oh, oh and another follow up hit there for Tails. Good stuff. Tails takes game two and advances onward. Cyan Plaza sent to the lower half of the bracket. Indeed. And yes, that is messed up, but yes, Faust is very short and just goes underneath everything. Oh, so if the butterfly passes over you, it just goes away? Like, if it yeah. passes your vertical... It turn, yeah, it turns okay, okay. into the uh, the up-down butterfly if it is blocked or hits. Right. But if it just... It does just expire if it doesn't hit anything, and Faust is so short. But yeah, that's a... Huh. If I played Faust in plus R like I do in Eggler, that would be really useful knowledge. Wild. Yeah. So there you go. All that's right. Trick. Yeah, so... Yeah. Faust can crawl under everything. It's awesome. Well, not everything, but a ton of stuff. It's really rad. All right, like, we got nuclear cheese versus g gorilla robot. Ooh, oh man, nuclear cheese versus spooky. Yo, banger alert! A gorilla robot. Banger alert, folks. Gang, I have to come. <laughs> I have to come off of commentary mute as as the 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 to right now just to illustrate how super hype I am for this match. <laughs> <laughs> Two I'm players. Stalwarts of the Boston <laughs> of the like New England anime scene. Nuclear Cheese been playing Soul in our scene forever, and you know Spooky, a well-known, well well-regarded Blaze Blue player, heck of an Arcune coming in here playing some Robokai. I cannot wait to see how this goes. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So we got Robokai going up against New Bitches. Or Robokai going up against uh, Soul. Disorder Soul. <laughs> right, I mean, right. we have Good. a feeling we know how Nuclear Cheese is going to play. I'm looking forward to seeing what Spooky's got. Right? <laughs> Great use of the rocket. Already very, very heated up. 
Yo, use and the binary. ground to get a ton of meter. And binary, you're totally right. This is red versus blue. It's the opposite colors for uh, Soul and Kai. Sick! Oh, another rocket. Oh, these wrist rockets. Oh, my, that is one of my favorite specials in this game. Once you get the powered up wrist rockets, it's so freaking cool. Yeah. Heat. Heat just about over half. The robot has got, got heated up. The moves that are affected by that are going to be powered up. Mm -hmm. But nuclear chi is always 100% heated there it up. Is. Tidewinder loops. Oh, tight so many. So clean. Damage. Oh, I like that. Delayed wake up to avoid the FRC gun, or sorry, uh, yeah, FRC gunplay. Yeah, gunplay pressure. Oh, the gold burst. Got a lot of special on yeah. deck. Didn't work out though. Yeah, last chance there, but could not make anything happen through that pressure. Firing some, firing some blast, but nothing doing. All right, trying to All right. push the yeah. control here. Oh no, yeah. no special uh, meter on deck. Sidewinder, the rice. So much damage. Yeah, like, keep trying to get some heat and some meter going here, but... Ooh, the trade with the Tyrant Grave! That was a, not a trade in their favor, I, I, I believe. <laughs> Alright, meter is, meter's on deck, heat's going, like, this is as good a situation as Robocon wants to be in. Yeah, one touch here to turn this into a good situation. Uh, All they need. Very, very yeah. heated up, though! Yeah, exploded. Nuclear Cheese has burst too, so even if there's a touch here from Spooky, oh, yeah. Cold burst. Let's go. All oh, right. Out. Yeah. Once that's powered yeah, up, the we got a chance. There we go. That's gonna hurt. I agree. Just raw. Just. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Tyrant Rave. Not a bad reversal. I it's suppose. a pretty good one. <laughs> Soul's got enough of them. Yeah. You got to be careful. When nuclear Cheese is waking up. There will be fire of some form, probably. Mm -hmm. So be careful. All right, we're on to game two here. You know, Spooky show, definitely showing some signs of life at the end of that other round. So, let's yeah, see. Also, yeah, and as been as mentioned earlier, the more experienced a player is, sometimes the more ready they are. Sometimes they can more readily adapt. So, let's see if there can be a change. Quite a volatile character, Robokai is well. So, you know, we say that, but it was also like the situation that Robokai needed in terms of having the heat, having the special uh, meter on deck, those were both achieved and still wasn't able to turn into the results that you want to see. Yeah, had to vent some of that heat there. Didn't actually get hit. Oh, gets the bandit bringer. And another sidewander. Great side switch into another sidewander. Loaded her bear with meter. Yeah, meter and burst on deck is so hard to deal with. That is an optimistic burst. Let's see what we can make of it. Tyrant Rage. Again on the wake up. Hey, Yo, this you is... got a hundred meter? Use it. Absolutely. Round star Cram Viper to the corner. Cheese is just playing Cheese's game. All I gotta say, this uh, soul color looks like uh, that. Looks like Soul's got blue jeans on. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's looking like Wrangler. that Bruce uh, Springsteen album cover uh, when he does the Tyrant Rave and it ends on that. Yeah. <laughs> just every time, like always, got nothing loaded up. Yep. All right, both sides of the fishing here. Oh, manages to call out the uh, riot stomp. Knockdown, nice five D side point <laughs> relaunch. What a combo! Jeez. First on both sides here, so it does have an escape option. Not gonna matter Back though. There. Other timer rave. Great, great stuff from Cheese there. Just I'm always at as Tails pointed out in chat. Always a blast to watch. That was yeah. yeah. Very that hot sidewinder match. dust combo was extremely awesome. <laughs> Spooky in chat. <laughs> uh, and yeah, a Nuclear Cheese is a very strong player as well. So like, the usually gets one or two and uh, places us first or second and got first second place in the Boston Blue Beat Neo that went down uh, late last year. Yeah. Uh, I, I say late last year, but like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. And if you want to see a soul, a soul bad guy with everything turned up to eleven, nuclear cheese is pretty much where you go. So, absolutely. Maybe as Spooky pointed out, not a great soul first impression, but you know, you'll be ready. <laughs> after All right. That. So uh, next up, looks like we got Jace versus Vicky Viper. Oh, that's a heck of a match. Let's this is, go. You, th these are some really good matches going on here. Thanks, <laughs> Spooky. Ah. Okay, so Jace, we might have a slight pause on since uh, they are FGC playing... FGC Classic. Yeah, FGC Classic of playing in multiple tournaments, except now it can happen anywhere in the country. 
You don't even have to leave your room. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't even have to leave your room to hold up multiple multiple brackets. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. But it's alright. We got. We appreciate everybody showing up. Absolutely. Showing out. I'm gonna take a look at the bracket. I'm gonna refresh it and see what we're looking at. Alright, so we got Lem going up against uh, who is on Cliff. They'll be going up against Tails uh, whenever that happens. Nice. Uh, lower half yeah. the bracket. Oh, we'll have a showdown from... Ah, cool. Well, if if Cyan advances, Cyan will have to face... Cyan versus O, who we saw a little earlier. And if Cyan Plaza advances, they'll face off against Phoebe, which is kind of neat, because I know them both from a shared space, so that'd be kind of cool to see uh, that happen. But, yeah. Ooh, we got Fellow and Flak Maniac in the bracket. That's going to be exciting. I know that... Um, Hell yeah. Flak Maniac has been, set, uh, has been a quoted as saying that Fellow is the only justice that tilts Flak. Which is really great because it was said to me, another Justice player. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, oh, if you ever, if you was... ever wanted to watch somebody's soul get sucked out of their body, folks, like if you want to see that happen, <laughs> like over oh, voice chat, no, it's all good. That that dog had the correct reaction to the to the absolute destruction that we witnessed <laughs> that day. <laughs> It was awesome. When after losing, it. went I'm only afraid of fellow. <laughs> Just because they're you know good or something <laughs> along those lines. Yeah. Like, shit, man. Sorry, gang. I've, I've just had uh, people uh, move in over the next, or have been moving in over the past few days. So, oh, oh. yeah, tis the season. So. All right. Yep, it yep. looks like it looks like Chase might. Are they busy. Yeah, they might be busy um, right now, so let's see if we can if we can quickly readjust. Um, and let's run All right. Uh, uh, Vicky, we're gonna we're gonna run uh, Thello and Flack. Actually, let's do it. All right, Thello and Flack Maniac. All right. Uh, fellow, we mentioned in uh, just a second ago, Justice Player, if I have memory serves, right? Yep. This is, we got Justice versus Order Soul here. Sick. And I mean, I've definitely, like, anybody who's watched some Blue Beats is definitely going to be familiar with Fella. Fella has been showing up regularly since we started running Plus R, running that Justice, and just well, taking names. Mm -hmm. But Flack Maniac, uh, Local Order Soul, and familiar mm -hmm. with the matchup. I oh, wait. Oh. oh, wait. Nope. Oh, dear. Oh. What's going on? Nope. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do we're going to do Flack and Thello because Costello is in here now. Yeah. All right. We'll have another match coming up here for you momentarily, folks. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for sticking around. Boston Blue Beat. Shout out to Jace for pr presumably just coming back just as we um, gave up on that match for now. That's the uh, I that the the number of times I've been in that position. Yeah, is... that's a life. Mm -hmm. How how many times have we have we been at a cab? Uh, in net play and set ourselves to ready and gone to the other room and then heard the music coming from the other room and got oh, piss oh god oh. <laughs> 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 all right anyway we're just waiting on flack here and jace. <laughs> then now jace joins <laughs> right, jace has got to pass uh jace should flag themselves as a spectator actually if they are watching the stream because then they will not interrupt the other game oh. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to, oh, have to oh, pass perfect. again. Oh, they passed, oh, so that's fine. All right, well, we'll run the match. All right, that's okay. All right, and see ya. Definitely, I've talked extensively to Flack about this matchup because you know we play a fair amount of casuals, mm -hmm. um, and to hear Flack tell it, they don't mind this matchup particularly as frustrating as it can be because all of they Justice kind of has a habit often of allowing Order Soul to charge up because you know. Justice wants to just stand away and set up nukes. So, if Saul is allowed to charge all the way up, all Flax says he needs to do is get in a couple of times, and that'll get the job done. So, we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this one myself, so that'll be nice to see how that does, in fact, play out between these two. Flax can definitely cash out big damage if the a, a hit lands, so... <laughs> see, well, chasing Justice then is no small feat, so... Damn, ain't, ain't we all just chasing justice? These days more than ever. Right. All right here we go. All right, so, Fellow versus Flack Maniac. Let's do it. And perhaps, who knows, maybe Fellow won't even be interested in allowing Flack to do the regular old charge up. Right? Let's see a more aggressive justice. Yo, is this default colors from both sides? It is. Yo, let's go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so there justice, we go. 
For anybody who does not know, places those nukes, those nukes are on a negative edge, so uh, can put as many of them on the screen as you can hold down buttons, and they will detonate once you release the button. Gunplay, okay. switch sides. The burst is not going to help. Unfortunate. Gunplay has suffered into the corner, though. He gets the Fafnir counter hit. All right. Burst, though. Does have some levels here, so can do some big damage, and does have a uh, burst on deck for Flak Media. Lots of like... meter on Justin's Ooh. side, though. That could be really scary. Yeah, the meter opens up the big reversal option there, and also... Oh, try to go for... Ooh, look like maybe a force. RC is down Michael Blade, but it is not enough. Unfortunate. Okay. Good stuff by Flag. Again, Order Soul's damage output is massive. Alright, three Michael Swords in a row. Why not? Ooh, nice yeah, use counter. counter. And the big convert. It's about nice. as much damage as you can get. Right, Trying to take control of the situation again. Oh, I... Throwing out the Michael Swords just to show that, like, hey, you cannot advance, I might just do this. Yeah, I mean, it's very often, it's like, oh, they like, blocked the Michael Sword, I'm gonna run in, but just another one waiting right there for you. Risk gauge getting cranked up here, so if there is an opening, it's gonna be so much damage. Look at that, that is just about maxed just out. Blinking guard ball, but very good navigation of the dudes, use the air dash, gets the hit. Nice, look at all that corner carry. Oh, oh, does not quite get past the Michael Blade, and the first is... First gets called out, unfortunate. Alright, alright. Oh, but another opportunity, nice that angle. Does have some meter, ooh, and gets blasted. Nuke crossover JH, tech by Thela, that was some good stuff. Alright. Alright, yeah. Michael Blades again. Charging, doesn't care. Nice use of low into the sweep, into the Michael Sword. Great! Oh, order so under that nuke and lets it all out. Yeah, look at that damage there too. Push all the way into the corner here. Has good meter, but doesn't have a special gauge charging. <laughs> There's a special good this is a name for the order soul gauge, right? Charge gauge? Heat, maybe? Hmm. I'll verify after this matchup. Right. So now though, let's see who's gonna take this first game. Coming down to nice the wire. Dude, knock back down. Nice overhead, that's six P. Pretty good. Oh gross. no, not able to convert into a knockdown! Does have burst available, but so close to death though a single hit might do it just like that. There it is, runs up and tags. Damn. Dang, solid stuff by Flack. Alright, well, Flax. Yeah, that's the first. Of the analysis yeah. of the matchup proved basically true. Just takes a couple of hits. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you saying that uh, practicing your matchups and trying to think about them ahead of time is going to lead to you possibly winning? Maybe. Yo. Not a, uh, that, you know, we all could use a little more of that. But yeah, Flack, 100% a student of the game. So you can tell <laughs> Flack up if true. analyze the, the matchups <laughs> all the way. All right, it's called well, Charge Gauge, too. So that's, that's the title of it. Nice. All right. So, but Tello, obviously incredibly strong player. Will not mm -hmm. we can count on Tello to adjust. And Thelo hey, has been perfect placement to those nukes. And Thelo has been showing up at these uh, Boston Blue Beats as well, uh, usually getting somewhere in the top four. So yeah. no slouch here. All right, big damage and nice to the counter. That beautiful freeze frame of the counter there. I love it. Video games are. Yeah. That felt roughly as late in the counter as it would still be active. But right. <laughs> worked out. Oh, Rock is so much meter. All right, charging back up. Oh, three on the charge gauge here, so if Order Soul can get a hit, this is big damage. Yeah, nice! Ah. Detected, like, either guessed or noticed that Soul was committing to a button, and that Michael Blade is fast. Did have enough meter on deck, too, so I'm not sure where the FRC point, or the, where the RC point is on Michael Blade, but yeah. did have a lot of it's, meter on deck. It could definitely have, could definitely have made use of that. Who <laughs> sweeps into the nuke and the combo? Nice me. stuff by Bello. Look at that, into the knockdown, right back into the nuke pressure. Does yeah. have level 3 on the charge gauge for Flak Maniac here, so he's got some resources on hand. Yeah. Use, good use of the Imperial Ray to cover the aerial situation. Love Even that on there. block, if you're right up against Justice's head, you pretty much can't do anything. That was a wonderful use of it there, it plugged the single gap in the movement there. Really good stuff from Fella. That has been the approach angle that's been working for Flak Maniac so far, so closing that off. Good stuff. Yeah, so, uh, Order Soul having a rather unique uh, jump angle, being kind of low to the ground there, so it mm, allows some room to maneuver through the nukes for other characters yeah. not to do. Ooh, no! Yeah, some hard call-outs there by Thelo, just like, you sending the really high up nuke, just being like, alright, well this is the angle maybe you're gonna take, probably. Mm -hmm. oh, it secures the game. What was that animation where it looked like Order Soul was kicking rocks? I believe that's the 5D. Oh, I, I bet then 
that Flak Maniac thought they had enough meter on hand for a force break move and accidentally got the 5D instead. That could well have been it. Because otherwise, know. like I don't know why the 5D would have been chucked out there, because it doesn't seem like yeah. it had that big of range. Maybe it's, it could also, there's always the possibility of the run-up 2D that doesn't quite happen, because, you know, mm. souls have a really good habit of just running up and sweeping you. No way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. First already yeah. out from Bello. Step one of Flax matchup plan has been achieved. Step one, get burst. Step two, get back in there. Yep. Level three charge. Step two, achieved. Let's go. <laughs> Black. All right. All according to plan. The flow chart is in motion. There, there it is. See, cash out all Look his damage. Oh, tries to go for the fuzzy, doesn't nice. get that hit, but... Catches the counter hit and is able to convert it into a combo, but not able to convert the combo into a knockdown. Oh! oh. Does have meter on deck here. That was extremely cute. I love it. Oh, the Fafnir! You dead? Not quite. Nice, the air grab, though. Now you're dead. The, the interaction of the charge is the ability to hit a button to do that little mini burst out of a charge is really <laughs> interesting. Nice right. counter, gets oh, but doesn't quite finish the combo. Yeah. One game of peace here too, so this is getting down to the wire here. Yeah, fellow fighting to stay in the winner's bracket here. Yeah, both, both sides showing they can draw blood. Nice. Nice blocks. Going into some single nuke options there. Really uses the flip kick to get out of the situation and catches the approach. Beautiful. Superior gets the not gets the nuke. Still guard bar, really, really crank on order stall. Nice Fafner counter hit. Oh, the oh. first is not going to get there. Able to catch it. Okay, not quite a knockdown there, but still able to get uh, out of the corner and <laughs> blow it up to the ground to block that Michael Blade. This might be the, the opening flag needs here. All right, All right. fellow. Oh, nice. What do you got? Beautiful Using cross -up. a superior to knock back into the nuke. That was so sick. Oh, but this might be it. <gasps> not quite able to do it. Nice TP. Once more. Blocking the options here, Ooh. snags the throw, Great. that's gonna do it. Great use, like, Flack is using this double jump to try and fuzzy the tall character that is Justice, but Bello is ready. This is beautiful stuff. Couldn't, literally couldn't have a closer match so far. One round of peace, one game of peace. Double Luigi, no burst on either side. Flack's charged up though. <laughs> you know what Flack can do with that. Yeah, I've seen it before and I hope we see it again here. I want to see this thing go, go down to the end. Oh, wow. catches the counter from the other side! That was fantastic, and gets the conversion off of it. Whew, I don't right. know if I've ever got as excited from Justice Counters as I have in this set, so thank you, fellow, for giving this to my life. <laughs> Uses the aerial Michael Sword to mess with the falling timing. So Another is out scary again. Nuke prop, though. Good stuff. All right, well, all right. Flack really has to make something happen here. Still has all the charge and a decent amount of meter, but running does, out of life. That other have resource. Burst, does have burst on deck, but at this point, you're getting low enough on life there where even just, like, one big chunky hit might just do it. Yeah, and, like, nukes are not a charged? favorable burst situation. So if you get caught not in nukes, all. that's not going to help. Mm -hmm. Goes for the counter, but gets blown up for it. Oh, a lot of meter and charge on deck here. Yep, yeah, Flack has everything the Flack needs here. Oh, great the use of the DP! And Bag. the overhead to finish it out. Hit by the overhead and gets closed out. Ooh. Fellow advances. Flak Maniac fought a hell of a game, though. Yeah, that was a great set from both players. That was awesome. Abs yes, 100%. That was really sick from both sides there. All right, well, Fellow's going to move on. Flak will see you again in the lower bracket. Let's see what we got. All right, what match do we have coming up next here? Looks like we're going to get uh, Jace versus Vicky Viper. All right. And correct me if I'm wrong, Jace, uh, well, Bridget? Bridget. 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 Bridget versus Kai. All right. Mm. Please select your character. This is going to be a blast. What's kind of sick is about, so obviously, Pandemic situation, no one likes it, but it is really sick that we're getting like really good matches that you might not be able to get elsewise. Because as far as I know, Vicky Viper is not quite from y'all scene, right? Not quite. She stopped by at a couple of our or er, a couple of our events in the past, which is always okay. Vicky. Pleasant. Vicky has has slept on an air mattress in my apartment. Oh, yep. cool. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay. The lore. So, uh, quite though, it's really cool that you get to see these uh, matches that are really, really good matches on a pretty regular basis, too. Uh, now. So, let's get to All it. Right. Oh, navigates out of there, gets away from Roger, but the yo-yo's back out. Alright, so for anybody watching who does not know how Bridget plays, Bridget places the yo-yo, then the yo-yo can do some stuff. That's the long and the short of it, and we'll try to fill you into the best details as the game goes on. Yeah, the yo-yo will either hit you or turn into a bear. And Kai is, uh, Ryu on steroids. Beautiful air throw into the Dragon Roger. Oh, Roger fetched right into the seal. Unfortunate. Sorry, bear. Yo, I just watched Paddington last night, so I feel very bad for this bear right now. This bear Charge wants to kill it. The charge stun edge covering the delayed wake up option also. Oh, nice! Doesn't get hit by the falling uh, bounces from uh, Roger Bay. I wonder if that seal being there prevented further combo from Jace, but get the knockdown in the corner. Ooh, great blocks on Roger, but DP. Yeah. The APM, me and my killing machine out there, yeah. hold this block stun, and it, yeah. I, it might have been that, a chip out. That killing machine mix up is gross anyway. Yeah, yeah, I even if that DC. didn't kill from the chip, that's just so much damage. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I said so much that looks up. Yeah, I Vicky's blocks are great, but that's a tall order. CJ's just like starting and stopping that yo-yo all over the place. Just the placements on are fantastic. Yeah, I, I was like wanting to say earlier, the APM from Jace right now is just is ludicrous playing a uh, Bridget like this. Yeah, I always am impressed watching a Bridget. Like this pressure! Great block oh, by Vicky though, and fighting out. Yeah, gets up and away from the starship, but uh, not able to turn it into anything else. Ooh, and Jace yep. is able to get out of it. Yeah, having a block hole. Oh, wow. the starship, that was RC. no sting! RC cross up. Jace so is just out of there. So this is something else I mentioned a little bit earlier as well, where uh, the player who's playing the atypical character absolutely has fought the more common character, whereas uh, I bet you uh, competent Bridget experience is harder to come across. Oh yeah, especially to this level. Yeah. I, this is there's not that many players that are playing this character at this level. Yeah. Definitely Team not. Out. Team Ooh, out of, here's Starship. Yep. This is the last chance for Vicky in this game. And but. the scary part is here is too, is that if Jace is able to get enough meter through Hooker by Crook, that's a checkmate the killing situation. Machine is, yeah, the killing machine means you're either gonna die or gonna use all your meter. Oh, but oh, the throw. Is the throw. Dang. I mean, you know, some another attempt at a strong comeback there from Vicky, but you know, take get the throw, close the door. Game one to Jace. Jace takes the game. All right, but you know. Vicky, though, no stranger to uh, competitive games. Going to be able yeah. to possibly learn from that and get to it. Absolutely. What did Kai, Kai and Bridget's picture look like the exact same? Both got blonde hair, blue eyes, and like the, the, the framing of it's very similar as well. That's the lore right there. I have no idea. I mean, I don't know who Bridget is. I don't know where Bridget comes from. Fell <laughs> <laughs> from this guy with the yo-yo uh, in his hand. There you go. Dang, oh, nice the off the Roger, too. Roger Rush protecting the, uh, the the normal jump height. Vicky had to go up and over with the super jump. Nice, Starship! Good use of the delayed knockdown, too. The throw! Delayed wake up. Oh, oh, but there you go. DP's away. Alright. Gotta be aware make... that yo-yo's behind you. Yeah, just, just making some pressure happen. Oh, nice back, back to the tweet to interrupt the yo-yo callback. Alright, oh. Roger Rush holding it down, buying Jace some time. Yeah, now Jace has got a significant life lead, just... More than content to just get the heck off the screen. Oh, Jagged Roger covers uh, the approach, doesn't let Vicky get in. He's gotta be so hard because, like, at this point, like, any chip amount of chip damage is, is such a threat, so your FDs have to be absolutely ready, and then you're cashing out your FDs on uh, your meter uh, for your FD. Ah, this is scary. <laughs> Great. Charge stun edge out. Big damage from Vicky, but oh, yeah, any hit will do it, and that is the hit that does it. Yeah, yeah. Bridget, uh, Jeez. it. <laughs> Bridget having like axle adjacent normals in terms of having some disjointed hitboxes on things, so very difficult once you get down to that last little tiny bit of health. Yeah, any kind of any time when you're down life against Bridget with how mobile Bridget can be, especially with Jace, brutal. Oh, in the air throw. Oh, locked okay. on. The follow up gonna be with the lock on. Charge stun edge is out. Oh, nice! Use a slash back on the last hit of the charge stun edge. That was sick. Nothing came of it, but it was very. Alright, Jagged Roger. Ooh, that burst is gonna be punished. I think that was a good call of the burst though on the Jagged Roger there. Nice throw break. Absolutely. It's probably... I mean, it's definitely a situation where you just need to recenter. Great pressure, but great blocks as well. It's up and away, does Jace? Alright, yep. Trying to put some stun edges out. 
Yeah, gets out of the corner, finally. He has Jagged Roger. And has enough meter for me and my killing machine. Might see that. Might just see the use of some uh, Force Break Roger moves as well. Alright. Vicky just trying to get an opportunity here, but bridge it so high up, and then Roger just occasionally falling out of the sky. Right? It's tough. It's a tough situation to be in. Like, may as well call this, like, Hidden Roger. Jeez. It's really hard to deal with. This plus two, like, I mean, like, this is going to bridge it, right? You have to, once Bridget has a substantial life lead, doesn't really have to interact with any. Oh, get snagged. Okay, that life lead may go away. There's the burst. Still has some meter on deck there. There's Force Break Three Sever. Ooh, ah, there's a throw. Not going to finish it, but only five oh. seconds left to go. Yep. Had to chase down because we're running out of time, but Jagged Roger is there. Jace's Bridget takes it over Vicky Viper. She is sent to the lower half of the bracket. Great, great stuff. Yeah, excellent play from uh, both sides there. Uh, two very, very skilled players, and as said, Jace's Bridget, it's not likely you're going to find a lot of people that are playing the character at that level, so very difficult to match up against if you don't have the experience. Not to, not to call uh, Vicky Viper's experience, of course, just saying, in general. Hard matchup to practice against. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, dog again. Sorry! Alright. Alright. So we've got... Our top eight winner side is rounded out. We've got Nuclear Cheese versus Tails and Jace versus Thello on the winner side. We've got some loser side top eight to still flesh out. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yep, we're getting there. Um, uh, before we before we go to our top eight, I, I really quickly um, would like to remind people that uh, we are uh, running a fundraiser right now uh, for uh, Henry. Uh, and his family, um, unfortunately, uh, was uh, killed earlier this week in an act of racial violence. Um, if you could support the GoFundMe, that would mean so much for all of us. That money's going directly uh, to his family to support uh, his mom, his partner, um, and his kids. Um, and that, that would mean a lot uh, to all of us. And uh, as a reminder that we still have a long way to go. Um, and, uh, but with that, um, I will let us uh, get back to it. Uh, we're going to run our first uh, top eight stream match. So let's do a New England classic between Nuclear Cheese and Mr. Miles Tails Prower. Oh. And do hit up the GoFundMe if you can. I'm going to be hitting that myself here once I'm wrapped up with commentary. Even if you can't give a lot, giving even a little bit helps out. Even just knowing that folks are holding people in their thoughts, it's good. Yes. So do what you can with what you can. Indeed. All right. So getting into it, these folks have played each other quite a bit. Uncountable times over the last decade and change. Uh, Tails, the number one fan of Nuclear Cheese's boom headshot. So, um, let's see that be turned around against Tails now. <laughs> Alright. If you weren't wrong, this this character select screen theme is pretty great. I'm, I'm like, I've been... I usually keep my music off for gear, and I just have like my own soundtrack on instead, but after listening to this, I'm like, maybe I gotta be rethinking this. Alright though, so, Soul versus Anji. At this point, we've seen these two characters on stream before, so I ain't gonna recap how it happens. Anji got the guard points, and the butterflies. Let's do it. Nice, blocking the riot stomp here. And this is a thing too, where no matter what we're seeing on screen here, there are several levels of, uh, several, several levels of decision making based solely on experience between these two since they've played so much. Absolutely. Like, you know, it's, it's pro it cannot be easy, even with a move like Fujin, which can power through a lot of stuff, to find a place to get in Cheese's pressure where you can put it. So relentless. Great block on the bandit. No follow up after Fujin. Oh, doesn't do anything. How, and I'm surprised too that there wasn't at least like some sort of follow up there, because like, you gotta know that nuclear cheese is gonna press on you like the moment there might be a gap, right? Ooh, great air dash over the gun flame though. Maintains some corner pressure, but gets caught by riot stamp, combo, side Just winder. Just close it, that does it. Cat, that one black beat at the beginning where it didn't get teched out, mm -hmm. don't leave cheese openings to hit sidewinder loops on you. Yeah, they will find a way to convert. Alright. Nice side switch to at least take the corner back, but side switch. Three side switches in a couple of seconds. Getting some decent damage here. Oh, Grand Viper's under, out and away from the butterfly. 
Radar P, Sidewinder, Sidewinder. Ooh, look at these Sidewinder leaps go. Oh, wow. wow that that was not the direction I expected on to fly in. Would you think he's no? Maybe. Was ready either way. Yeah, right? Which is really the most impressive thing. Ooh. Gets the knockdown. Beautiful stuff there. Oh, nice. Uses the force break guard cancel. Indeed. Oh, and the butterfly catches the DP. Wow. DP's yeah. right through Rin. Yeah. Volcanic Viper active enough to come wow. out or to still be there when that happens. Yes, Richter <laughs> Andre is really, really fun. Not gonna lie. Feel like to just sort of do things and armor through stuff. Yeah, do you want a horizontal DP? Well. <laughs> yeah. And you know, right. our scene is blessed with somebody who will teach you that, Andre, if you want to play. Alright, but now. Tails needs to focus on coming back into this matchup right now. Oh, nice clash off the of Bandit Bringer too. That was wild. Hey, all right. Butterfly butterfly wow, should so much respect on the didn't follow in off of the butterfly hit too. Tails just stood there. Oh, great air throw. Oh wow. no, my dash to get the hit and then he's able to convert further. Ugh. You never like to see that. Getting your first air throw. Gross. Delayed the follow-up off of the Fujin there, and then tried to get the side swap, but didn't quite get anything out of it. Yeah, nice Fujin through the gun plan, but catches the- Ooh, nice backdash for the wild throw! Not a lot of meter on Cheese's side. Just about uh, equitable health here, and more resources available for Tails. However, Cheese, though, knows how to convert- Oh, nice! Nice super. Dang. Just ran up and blocked on Cheese's wake up, was ready for that, that DP. Ooh, really? Low profiles it and then trades anyways. Yeah, there was definitely a planned response to that riot stop, but did not work out. And now, three sidewinders later and an air throw. Three sidewinders in Wow. This is a sizable health boost. And I see like one of those situations where Cheese has played this uh, matchup enough and this game enough where they knew that the combo was likely to drop there and was ready to catch the throw. Damn. Cheese in such a strong position. Oh, it tries to Fujin through the gun plan, but can't quite. Alright, last round here. Tails fighting for Winterside Life. Just run up, Wild Bro. Do not care. Brothers nice fan. Hit. JD, butterfly in the corner. Ooh, class oh, nice. the DP. I like the use of the FRC there uh, in the after the air stomp. Absolutely. Cheese just staying just out of dan danger range until Cheese is ready. Ran Ran Viper in the corner. <laughs> Oh, click with the Grand Viper. Oh, gets up and away from it. Bandit Bringer catches, though. Oh, no. Finds the conversion. Another... Just two Sidewinders this time. Backdash the Bandit. Tries to punish, but good blocks by Cheese. Oh, slash back to the overhead. Nice. Mm. Blows through the burst with the Rin extension. Blocks Tyrant Rave. Oh, wow. Okay. Quick gets swept. RC's the Tyrant Rave. Not a lot of meter on either side. It's going to be real close for Tails nice. to get that first back. First back? Are you dead? No, no not, not just yet, but close. Not enough meter. How did you spend the meter on Fallout's defense here? So no more force break available. Yeah. Ooh. Nice stuff by Tails. Just maintaining the pressure. 1-1. One, one. Here we go. This would be the first time since I've started commentating these events that I've seen Tails beat Nuclear Cheese if Tails can make this happen. Indeed. But take... Taking a set off of cheese is a challenging task. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. We've, we've seen both players executing their game plan strongly so far. It all comes down to who can do it right now. Let's get it. Oh, nice round start from Tails here. Able to turn it into the quick control of the situation. Into some quick control of the situation. Uses burst. Doesn't even want to give, uh, give Nuclear Cheese a chance to get momentum up there. I like it. All players doing the same thing using their burst. Dang! The ball oh, at the no. very end of the DP. DP's through the option there. Fortunate. Getting away from those gun flames. Uses the G to kill the air momentum. Doesn't able to catch it. But not able to catch okay. it. Out of it. But. Great rise now. Oh no, he really? doesn't get a follow-up hit! Nice. Blocks the dust and gets the, gets the guard cancel hit out of it. Blocks Tyrant Ray, Butterfly connects. Oh no! Oh, wow, the overhead follow-up still catches. It's nice! I, I cannot believe Tails is uh, catching a lucky break with some of these situations, but wow! Hey. You take what you can get. Nice sweep out of the food. Get pressure by Cheese. Great blocks. 
the knockdown. Alright, following up here, Butterfly gets blocked, gets up and away from the riot stomp. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, good Goes to the back dash, can't quite follow it up. Getting low on, getting about half health here, so Guts is gonna start getting in here where Anji's health bar starts to show its true form. Alright. Nice. Oh, Red Butterfly out there, so got the multiple hits on it. Blocks the dust. Nice. I would have got here. I see that. Definitely worth blocking that Red Butterfly in the air, just so you don't have to deal with the high low. Blows up the 5k! Absolutely! So much damage! Here comes Butterfly! No more meter for nuclear cheese! Okay, got meter on deck here. Or enough for a force break. Or an FRC, okay. Takes. Oh, Tails does it! Too much armor! The call out! Wow. Great stuff. Wow. Incredible. Alright. Tails able to. Tails able to weather the storm. Ah. Makes it happen. Yo, let's go, Tails! Good work, Tails. I, I just over. heard. I just heard a sound wave coming in. Uh, from Western Massachusetts, it just it just hit and reverberated all the way. Uh, the whole building <laughs> shook actually with the power of that scream that I heard. Wow. <laughs> excellent, Believe excellent it. stuff. Yeah, cheese was cheese was definitely running it, but tails was on one there. It was what was pointed out in chat. Tails was calling out like the right thing over and over again. Yeah, Tails was ready for it. Uh, there were a lot of situations that broke in like weird ways, and Tails either uh, was mindfully looking for those or was ready for the situation. That was such a well ah, so good. That was outstanding. Oh yeah. I feel like there were a couple of there were. Hmm. I was gonna say there was definitely some stuff that Nuclear Cheese which was, did, which was a little too risky, but that's also Nuclear Cheese's play style. So like, I can't really fault Nuclear yeah, Cheese. That's gonna happen. Yeah. Rolling some dice, but they are loaded dice. However, even right. the loaded dice might have some faulty results sometimes. All right, we got Fellow versus Jay. So we have Justice versus Bridget. What does this match even look like? Um, exhausted or exhausting? <laughs> let's say, as somebody who's tried to play it a fair bit. Oh yeah, because your counter won't work against Roger. Not really. Yeah. Um, my biggest problem personally when I'm playing this matchup, which Fellow will not have really, but like you're, when you're sending up nukes and you have Roger falling on you. Uh huh. My big, like, a thing that I have, or I struggle with currently with Justice is, like, you know, when you're holding all those buttons down to keep nukes on the screen, uh, jumping back is difficult to do, because you start false defending instead. Yeah, I can imagine. It turns out. But yeah, like, I'm not sure, like, Velo isn't going to have a ton of options to hit Bridget up in that corner that Jace likes to hang out in, so it's real, real tricky. And as Stella pointed out, going to get 6S 500 times. That, that sums it up. Uh, success is the, um, the, hey, I wish I was Axel button, right? I believe so? Like, that's the I mean, far-reaching one from Bridget, I believe? I Let believe. Um, you can definitely, like, you can counter these things, so, like, you can call out some fun stuff, but it's still, it's still a tricky situation to be in. It's a fun match to watch, or it's, it can be a fun match to play. I'm looking forward to seeing it with these two high-level players. Okay, yeah, the, the 6S, 6S is the Axel one. That's actually literally what Dust Loop calls it, the hitbox Axel longs for. Yes. We're going to have to do a, uh, a quick uh, readjust, because Jace is in two tourneys and has entered ah. winner's finals on the other one. All right, so gonna be on, we're going to be on hold until Jace shows up, due to well, being in multiple tournaments. Well, but me... we'll get something else for you. We'll get another match pulled up here. Thank you for hanging around, folks. Uh, if you haven't already, please do consider hitting up the GoFundMe. Oh, I typoed it. I'm, I suck. Uh, it goes for a good cause, so do consider. And in the meantime, here we are for Boston Bluebeat, running some new Inkling Guilty Gear. Got a couple of other uh, new faces here who don't normally show up for... Or who not norm don't normally show up, but just some new faces. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, we had, on the lower half of the bracket... Wow, Cyan Plaza cleaning up. Cyan Plaza playing very well. Well, good for them. Great. Great. Yeah, Cyan Plaza looks like went over O. Cyan Plaza went over Phoebe, and Cyan Plaza went over Flak Maniac. Wow. That's impressive. And Cyan on a run. And their reward is getting to fight Vicky Viper. Heck so. Reward. Yeah, we right. Got some really cool loser bracket mat action going on here. So hopefully we can find somebody from that pile to. Yeah, Maybe looks like you got Furok. Furok was fighting up against uh, Spooky, so 
see how that goes, and the winner of that will get Lem on their cliff. Yeah. And that'll take us into loser side top eight for all those players. Yeah, that'll be our last top eight or whoever wins that match. Mm-hmm. Let's Okay. What are we got? What are we got? And right. I will uh, probably be stepping away here in about 20 minutes, so I do hope I'll be able to catch, commentate another match here or two for y'all. See how things go. Indeed. Listen, Flag, I would not be useful, um, <laughs> useful Faust practice in Plus R. I can't play that character in this game. <laughs> I'll play all of the fa all of the Exert Faust you want, but I can't do this shit. <laughs> that different? I don't know if it is. It's just different enough that um, muscle memory is a hell of a thing. Especially because I still try to play Exert, so like trying to switch my hands from one to the other was a thing that was always going to be a struggle for me, so just for mm -hmm. maximum fun, I just completely separated the two. Nah, I, I totally see that. Uh, I can't play Hagar in Marvel Infinite because he's too different from his Marvel Ultimate form. So, I feel ya. Not that I'm like a Hagar specialist, but... Oh. Brock <laughs> changing their Steam name <laughs> in between the last time they were on stream and now. Well, you know, so do what you gotta do. Brock 7. Is Ferox's name saluting? It kind of looks like it, right? <laughs> and, right. Uh, who did, and we saw Ferox earlier. Ferox played... Testament. Testament, that's it. Our favorite Testament friend. And by oh, that, I mean yeah, that was the uh, versus... Uh, that was Testament... That was Ferox versus uh, Vicky. Yes, indeed. Heck of a match there. And... Uh, yes, the first six Ferox are no longer around. Ah, so it looks like Furok must have taken down um, Spooky. Yes, indeed. So now we've got Furok versus Lem coming up. Yo, let's go. Oh, yeah. Testament versus Cliff. Oh, God, that's a visually abrasive matchup. Swingy, I'm sure. <laughs> Gonna nape saddle over some trees. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much that's it. It's like, hey, can you stop this character from using this nape saddle move to approach you? If so... You're probably doing a good job. Otherwise, you're 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 dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Quick, how many hits is drill? I have no idea. I, I don't know. That's why I'm on commentary. <laughs> what do you want? I'm looking, this, I'm looking this up now because I have time. Also, please call it by its name, uh, Skull Crusher. <laughs> Skull Crushing finale itself. Hey. Ah, what? we're getting into the re wrestling references. Well, I was calling, um, oh, uh, right. Bridget's Reversal, uh, Starship Pain, so. Yeah. Let's Zugaisai. see. Yo, that's a sick name in Japanese. Yeah, Zugaisai. Yo, I love it. Um, six <laughs> hits, apparently, I'm told. I'm, by, I'm told, I mean, Dust Loop Quick, he tells me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having conversation. I talk about fighting games with my friends, by which I mean I look at the Dust Loop Wiki. This isn't very lonely. <laughs> It does 14 times 6 damage. <laughs> 14 times 6? So that's like, what, 84? Something like no, that. 64. Hey, yeah. I think, I the, fir I think <laughs> the first one was right. Damn! 14 times 49? That's crazy. Wait, what? Where'd you get 49 from? No, I'm watching. I'm just looking at other stuff. The Scale Ripper. Also known as the Sword Wiggle. <laughs> Ah, I love mean. this character. Oh, Cliff is fun. I started playing him as like my um, I'm having a good time. I'm not working too hard. Like after playing Venom, I'm taking like a math test. I I, I just wanna just wanna ride my nape saddle. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. All they need to do is translate Cliff's um, taunt to English, and he'll do more damage. So, oh, hmm. Young Cliff doesn't look. Hmm. Never mind. I'm not gonna talk about Young Cliff. I don't need to embarrass nope. myself again. Heaven or hell. <laughs> All right, let's go. Lem continuing to treat up to this song. Nice. All right, Farrakh off to his call start, getting the nets. Oh, but can't quite pick up off the second net. Do we know if these two have fought before? I don't. I, I imagine they probably have, but I'm not sure. Okay. Dang, just switching sides. Badlands and Nape style, all you got. Well, let's go. All right. Wow, you think that there have been, like, four JDs from Lem Ooh, so that far. 5D is gross. Yo, sick. Look how much damage, damage that was! I don't need poison scaling! Ooh, nice RC on the pressure. I like that. And the Zugai Sai. 
Damn, flex it. Yo, Cliff, please keep the shirt on. We don't need you hulking out here. All right, skulls on deck there, trying to get up and over it. Nice. So, use the counter, but let's get the hit. Just mm -hmm. getting up and above the EXE beast. Hey, yeah, nice navigation for the beast, but here they are. Oh, into the net. Oh, not able to convert it into anything further though. All right. Well, I'm trying to figure out some positioning here. Right, there's definitely some traps in play. There's one of them. Firox sitting on 50 bar here. Yeah, there's a forest break. Able to pull a knockdown. All right, takes the first. They out of the corner. Corners yourself, but. Nice! Yeah, the first one doing a nice pretty little combo. Ooh, nice counter damage. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah, the force break curse in play. Wow, that poison did some work. Oh, and now with the crow, tries to use that nape saddle to get in, but the nets are there. This is so difficult now for uh, yeah. for Lem at this point. Yeah, low mobility character does not have any health to give. It's so tough to get in. Mm -hmm. All right. It was like a very uh, uh, feast or famine situation. Interesting, interesting situation with Nape Saddle versus the counter. Like Cliff has moved too far away for the counter to actually hit, but you're right. getting out of there. Oh, interesting. The uh, skull can Cliff can just sand underneath the uh, the force break skull apparently from tail. Short. That makes sense. Oh, that's why I like Cliff. He's got that rocket raccoon body. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, nice the battle into the net, but it's the air tech, though. doesn't score a knockdown. Oh! oh yep, the net blocking that saddle again. Nice, gets the hit. Oh, goes All for right. a low, but like, gets a burst out of the situation. Right, Badlands to the corner, and combos off the tree. Nice stuff by Kurok there. Kurok has a lot of bar to work with here. And, wow, the blocks. Alright. Oh, has burst on the hand. Knocked not into the net by the beast. That's a tricky one. Alright. Game one for us. Oh, these players have not switched sides, so, um. Lem still attempting to treat us all to, Robo or to Holy Orders question mark and not doing so. Instead, treating us to this other better song. Alright. Let's get to it. As long as a bop, though. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, we're just trading right. sides. Yeah. I would like to be on the P2 we're, side. We're just repositioning, that's all. No, you don't get to change the music after you get to the P2 side. Sorry, man. All right, burst out of it. Oh, Dang. runs into the net. Yeah, it is so hard to keep track of all this, though. Well, I feel like with the, with Cliff, there are some situations where just because his sword is so big, you can think that you might be able to swipe through the nets. Oh, hits the Master of Puppets. Yeah. Get dolls, let's go. Yeah, we are. Unlo we have unlocked traps. Now that was a big tree. Alright, goes uh, for a counter. Gets tagged. Oh, oh another big tree. You're poisoned, poison. and that is pretty bad. That's so, that's, the poison really hurts, too, if you're a character who doesn't have some sort of ranked option just to try to tap Testament to remove the poison effect. Because, yeah. like, other characters say... I mean, I'm going to just side off my own experience here, but, like, Venom, you know, Force Break Stinger Aim, I might be able to tap Testament just to get rid of the poison. But Cliff, though, got to hold that. Just try and taunt, hope for the best. Ooh, the warrant on the 5D. Gets the sweep into the EXE Beast. This poison damage is still ticking away here. Oh, force break EXE Beast for a, a mix attempt. Just turn the mix attempt into a hit, but still able to maintain the pressure. Yeah, tries to skull pressure out of the corner, but gets caught with the burst back in. Well, on point right. with these FRC's uh, EXE Beasts. Oh, poison once more. This is looking Dang. extremely grim for Lem. Even though they're doing such a good job of blocking all this, it just never ends. Yeah. Interesting when um, Testament's counter going off, if you're so cornered that Testament cannot get behind you, the side switch doesn't happen, but the counter still does. Oh, really. interesting. That seemed, how it's, like, it seemed like Cliff was just too cornered to get side switched mm -hmm. on there. So it's like Damn. the best of all worlds for Testament there. Wonderful. Yay. I think this will be my last match then, and then I will hop off the microphone. But right. for now, though, I am still here. All right. Okay, so... Here's our yep. Ace and Fellow. Jason but Fellow. You still are a testament apologist, you just don't play them. I I think Testament is super cool. If I hadn't started playing uh, Venom if I hadn't touched Venom first in Exerd, I probably would have been playing Testament in Plus R. But because I saw Venom already, yeah. yeah. I think Testament's really cool. All right, Jason, the room, waiting for Fellow. Right. Now this is going to be a blast. Like I'm 
very excited for this match. I mean, partially just because I would love to see how how an experienced Justice navigates it. Oh, right. Please, do the homework for me. Honestly, though, yes. that's how people should approach fighting games, though. If someone else has already done the work, there is nothing wrong with copying off of someone else's paper. Hey, you're just learning from watching somebody else. I'm okay with it. Right? Like people, Back in uh, the day, we just read it, you know, like, uh, it, it, now we get to watch it. It's even better. You don't have to yeah. just mm -hmm. use the forums. I believe I've mentioned this in the past, that I definitely was one of the main reasons why I picked up Justice was watching Fellow play, so here we are. And we're going to the Mario and Luigi stage also, so this is great. What? Mario and Luigi stage? Um, I don't get if, ju if Justice backs backdashes a little bit at, the, at any point in this round, you'll know. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay, I know what you mean now. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm with yeah, you. they are. Oh, yeah. First All out. Right, do it. Like, right, nukes <laughs> interact with Roger in a really interesting way, because, like, nukes can dispel Roger, but not not every form. Great throw by Jace. Yeah, because, like, um, it's while the nukes have higher durability than anything else, they don't necessarily have a longer duration than anything else. That was an incredibly cool combo by Jace, though. Just, like, the alley-oop Roger to Bridget on the other side of the screen. Oh, right? Like, that's and one... Bridget is super cool. It's, like, I'm gonna say it's like watching... It's like watching Marvel combos in a certain respect. I know I've talked a lot about Marvel, but what I mean by that is you have multiple hitboxes interacting at very, very different angles. And with the way that Bridget works, you can also time when those hitboxes release. Yeah. So you can get these, like, weird situations where, like, Roger is comboing from, like, the bottom right while Bridget's coming in from the top left or something. Yeah. Ugh, it's such a rough situation for Justice. It's such an immobile character. But oh, Superior is an option. Oh, not able to convert after it, though. Oh, the Jagger Jagger Roger, Roger really saves play. the day! No Oki for you! Yeah. Oh, and a nice throw. But yeah, Justice has a real, like, struggles with mobility, especially vertically, so with, J with Jace that high on the screen, it's just so tough to chase down. Wow, the 2S was, or sorry, 6S was able to stuff the Michael Sword. It's up and over the nukes, too. That's gotta make it really difficult for Justice to deal with as well. Like, you can't really stop Bridget from getting into a position where he yeah. wants to fight from. You can, yeah, Bridget can definitely get into a position where nukes cannot reach, and it is brutal. You can definitely yeah, see Fellow, like, throwing out counters here and there in neutral. It's, that's almost certainly trying to catch successes, mm -hmm. and it does work. It's a beautiful way to go, but... You know, I gotta say, though, yeah. with how Bridget can shut down Justice's uh, tools, just getting up and away from them, uh, oh, really? Yeah, Michael Floyd. Yeah, Michael Floyd's a very fast move, so... I'm just wondering what uh, Fellow was doing where... Uh, sorry, what Jace was doing where they weren't able to find a way to block or uh, execute the trying to, Perhaps trying to set up, or call some kind of Roger. I don't know how much time Bridget's sure. during that. Nice overhead, but nothing yeah. off. Yeah, like, it's, uh... It's fair due to see Justice fight a character who shuts down all of their matchup options. <laughs> Great blocks and gets the throw. Fellow's got meter. Really? With a, that Michael Blade is full screen and mad fast. Be careful. Yeah, really quick. Love it. Ooh, big success counter hit gets the wall bound. Says the yo-yo. You know, I wonder. That's been like two times that hit in that last round there, and if that keeps hitting, it seems like a. It'll be interesting to me to see if Jace doesn't find a way to work around that, because Jace has to know that that's on deck. Jace has been playing this game long enough where uh, they gotta be aware that that's an option there. So nice convert off the yeah. Roger though. Roger rush buys a little bit of space there. Yeah, so there we go. Like Roger ran into the nuke, but didn't mm -hmm. get dispelled by it. Was briefly slowed down. Yeah, they have like a moment of hit stop, but unless it actually only has a certain number of hits, because some projectiles mean this... Yeah, it's, it's weird. Yeah, it doesn't Nuke, help eat. You. Nuke eats so much, but not Roger. It's weird too, because projectiles will sometimes stay out in this game, even if their hitbox has been eaten, away, eaten up. Like visually, they'll, they'll yeah. stay there, even if they don't actually do anything, so it's hard. Maybe it's only hitting Roger's hitbox on the way down, but then when Roger hits the floor... <gasps> Yo, there, there it is! the counter on the fixed age. Bellows and a throw, no burst on Jace. This can be painful. Oh, but it drops it. Yeah, that 6S oh. is a pretty good tool, but if it gets caught by the counter, it's a normal just like anything else. Kickstart my heart. Corner. Jagged oh. Roger, but the nuke to... Oh. Ooh, Jagged, Ro Jagged Roger call. Interesting choice there, because Justice wasn't anywhere nearby. Unless Jace would make it a big brain read on a Superior. Yeah, I was gonna say, Superior is on deck. It's... and it is an option. Nice uses the Great Roger blocks. Rush after the wow. lock on. Excellent block. That looks still over there. here. Jace almost had a meter though from the FD. Oh boy, and the wow. time up.
You don't see a lot of those in Guilty Gear, but with these characters, you certainly can. That makes a lot of sense with these two characters. Wow. Great that's stuff the, to tell over there. That's, uh, folks, that's officially the first time up I think I've seen running uh, ACR tournaments. I think that is yeah. the first one. Hell yeah! Somebody's got to tell these players that Swell needs to leave soon, and they need to stop spending all this time. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's it's alright, it's alright. Let's go, let's run this. We got this. But that was that was awesome. Like, Fellow definitely showing some some experience in this matchup. But yeah. he was ready for some of Jason's trickery, so... This is really cool to see that you have a game like Guilty Gear with these characters who have such a focused game plan that you can see really interesting ways that it manifests when these two really focused game plans uh, get mashed up against each other and you get this, these weird interactions like the way that this one's playing out. Killer counter hit success and great. Good convert. Ooh. A lot of these successes getting tossed now. Ooh, Ooh yeah. That yo-yo is just sitting there. Really? You can't see it because Bridget's not on screen. The off-screen mix. You'll love to see it. Force Break Jagged Roger, which will track towards the opponent. Non-Force Break Jagged Roger only tracks towards Bridget. Far Slash? Ooh, good stuff. There you go. Nukes on screen? Too, yeah, too far to do much with it, but putting out nukes is always good. Doesn't have enough meter for a Force Break here. Oh, nice no, the counter! You're... No, not quite good! That does it. Sometimes oh, Justice that was a Zero black as well! Yeah, so sometimes Justice Zero combos can be a little tricky, because that JS, like, you have to hit- Do you hit once or twice before you continue the combo? So Jace's fellow is sitting here, about to send Jace to the lower half of the bracket, if you can believe it! Nice anti-air and convert, takes the corner! And an air throw into Roger! Ah, uh, right. I, I feel like that almost made the situation worse, because it destroyed the uh, OP that it might have been got from the air throw. Indeed, but Jace still looks like they're reaching a little bit more of a comfort zone here. Oh, so you're getting tough out there. Jagged Roger doing some work. Use that first. Tello wants this round. Tello does not want this game to continue. Nah, unfortunate though, because it's sitting at about 10% health. Does have a lot of meter on hand, so it does have some ways to reposition just like that. Nice use the starship there. Yep. Nukes, nukes out. Just, just so avoids him. Smart call. Yeah, yeah just no need, to, no need to rush. You got a massive life lead. Got 50 seconds on the clock here. They are locked up. Almost has enough meter for oh. killing machines. But oh, take this could be how it starts. Are we gonna see killing wow. machine? No. High reaching DP. Went for a force break option of some sort there because it took up 25 meter. Yep, yep the yo-yo is still there though. Can never forget about it. It's always there, waiting. <laughs> Good stuff by Jace. All right. First, Get just about back, fellow. Ooh, nice clash there on the Michael Blade. That was kind of cool. Michael Sword, rather. My mistake. Not the metered version. Got the lock on. Narrowly dodged from the Roger, but can't dodge Bridget also. Clips with the low to get the opening. There's the lock on. No damage yet from Fellow. This is a perfect for yeah. Jace so far. Yeah, Jace back to some command here. Ooh, use the superior just as Roger appears. That's clever. I guess a little bit of damage here. Uh, still has a lot of work to do, but not sitting on a perfect get, at least. Hit on the, the startup area. Nice air throw. Scoop. The maintenance disaster, or whatever it's called. Interesting. That other super. Jagged Roger comes on out though and closes it out. Nice. Great, great recovery by Jace. All right, one game apiece here. Let's go. You love to see it. Jeez. Such a wild matchup to watch play out, too. Love it. Oh, damn. We got another banger alert in the lower half of the bracket. Oh, yeah. Uh, Vicky Viper versus Nuclear Cheese. Oh, yeah. That's excellent. All right. Here. And loser, and loser of this will fight Furok. Winner of this goes up against Tails. Oh, yeah. All right. Last game. Goes for the round star Michael Thorpe but gets swept. Ooh, we got the yo-yo set. Tries to get the lock on. Doesn't catch anything with it. Uses burst. Just says, no thank you. Get away from me. Oh, interesting. The nukes will interrupt the lock on. Uh, hit. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Lock on achieved. What's the mix going to be with it? Uses Jagged Roger to buy some blocks done. Runs on it. Able to open up with the low. Killing machine. Oh, it goes for a counter. <laughs> that would have been pretty sick. I call it. Actually, yeah, because if that would have worked against Bridget's normal, that would have gone into the hit grab animation, which would have lasted long enough that maybe Jagged Roger wouldn't have been sticking around. Interesting. Yeah, would have wasted a bunch of time at the very least. Damn, though, but Jace is in such command. Yeah, that... Once Bridget gets gets going against 
Yep. Hello, Air Starship! Yep. Nice, nice use of that to close things out. And all right, fellows, gotta, gotta adjust here. Still in the upper half of the bracket, so not out of the tournament just yet. But still, you certainly don't want to have to be sent down to the lower half of that bracket and have to deal with the likes of Nuclear Cheese or Vicky Piper. And yeah. are the other great players still alive in the lower half of the bracket? For now, yeah. though. Vicky with a very wise point in chat. If Bridget does not, is participating in this match is basically optional. <laughs> uh, just... Bridget does not have to give just the time of day. But, oh, Dello trying to force their way in. Justices do not interact. DNI. Oh, great oh. overhead. I heard it's weirdly oh, knocked away from the other side. Okay. This is just... This is brutal. And then the killing machine is killing out. Machine out. Cannot block forever. The visual noise and the strong mix-up. Just such a horrible combination. Getting up and over things. Oh, we're trying to stay alive. Hello, sitting at like that fifteen percent life. Not too much resource either. Going to be a hot second before burst is back. Does have fifty percent meter here. Mm, yeah, took a big to swing. Honestly, that was a too gutsy of a call because right now there's that, that that wouldn't have given enough health to like really make a difference there. Oh, that's yeah, it. That's it. Roger Rush does it. And great, great. I mean, Fellow was off to a strong start, but Jay settled in, took a breath, and found the the dimension of the matchup that could play in Bridget's favor. Mm-hmm. Fellow fought well, but Jace came out on top. All right. Well, All right. Uh, this'll be uh, my time here, so uh, thank you very much for having me, Boston Blueby. A delight as always. Uh, thank you, everybody, for playing, and thank you, folks, for uh, hanging around in the chat. And if you haven't already, please do hit up that GoFundMe and contribute what you can. Uh, tragedy that this occurred, but we can do what we can to lessen the tragedy by letting people know that uh, they're in our thoughts. So do what you can, folks. Uh, if Thank you want to follow so. me, on, absolutely. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at SwellGGs. Uh, give me a follow if you want. Talk about fighting games and gay stuff. Uh, be well to each other and be nice to yourselves. Adios, Craig. Also, uh, also, thank you so much, uh, Craig. It was a delight commentating with you. Cheers. It was a pleasure. Later, y'all. Right. What? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Hey. All right. Do the commentary tag in, and we've got Black Mini Actor. Slack. How you feeling? Um, I need to learn the Faust matchup. That's how I'm feeling tonight. <laughs> pretty brutal. I mean, I will say, well, before we jump into this matchup, that match against um, Della was pretty boss. Yeah, I felt pretty good about it, but I messed up that fuzzy in the semifinal round, and I think it would have killed. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's always something, right? It is, but here we go. This is going to be something. <laughs> Vicky Viper versus Nuclear Cheese. And we got yeah, a special we'll intro. Please don't skip that. seems like a matchup where Kai is just going to be constantly cursing. Absolutely. But oh, Vicky, as solid as, solid as Kai as you're going to find around here. So Let's see if she's ready to weather the storm. Nice throw into the corner. Well, I always think the solid players are going to, you know, win against the wild players, but then, I don't know, somehow. Cheese has been disproving that for years. <laughs> nice DP, knocked down to the corner. Great air throw by Vicky. Yeah. Alright, get knocked down. Alright. Grand Viper Thanks right on the sacred edge. Who cares? Was that a burst fade, or...? It's hard to tell, but... Great, the RC, strong pressure, risk is looking like crazy. Dump back to back tire. Yeah, I mean, well, you know what team folks yeah. do. Something moderately minus the mass tire rate. I mean, yeah, that also, that burst was pretty much a bust because with how much the guard gauge was blinking, I was dead. Oh, tries to air to air the riot stamp, but gets caught. That was wild. All right. Bandit gets the knockdown. Oh, the 2P, but the Gunflame still comes out. Sidewander. Yeah, the Gunflame is big damage. And that's that's half of Kai's life already. Gunflame yeah, pressure. Hard. Oh boy, Ab gets caught by the Bandit. Just impatient. Oof, this is... Nice run throw, though. This could be how it starts, but... Cheese back on the offensive. RC's the Tyrant Rave run up wild throw. Yep, another cheese special. Good combo though. 
Oh, oh, catches the backdash of the Grand Viper, gets the first, and the game. Relentless nuclear cheese, as per usual. Yep, Vicky looks disoriented, as all of Jesus' opponents do. Yeah, I mean, like, there was definitely some signs there, like, when, like, obviously Vicky's block's very solid, just needs to find, find a gap to get something through. But it's one of those one interaction at a time things where the one thing you weren't thinking of happens and you're like, okay, that's fine, I'll write that one off, and then the next thing also goes wrong, and it's like, one thing at a time, and then eventually your health bar's gone. Dan goes for the round star greed sever, fighting fire with fire. Yeah, I respect it. Honestly, oh, yeah. maybe we could see more greed severs. Oh yeah. Just, I mean, you're fighting a wild player like this, you just want to throw out moves that have good hitboxes. Like, yeah, alright. You all don't right. want to overhead with greed sever, but you just want to use it to catch them doing stuff in the air. Yeah. Go over a Grand Viper with it, whatever. Yeah, or all just, right. I don't Pressure know, gets throw stuff that gets hit by greed sever. Nice! Use the seal to stuff the wake up tyrant rave. Alright, alright! Oh, the right stamp hits though. Jesus turn. Sidewinder. Just to the other corner. I think that should have been death. Locks the Grim Viper underneath the. Whew, underneath the big old fireball, and you are dead. Dang. I mean, that's yeah. what Chief does all the time is like tech air dash forward, just very aggressive, very yeah, much. You gotta uh, be very careful giving Cheese something to Grand Viper underneath, because that player will do it. Alright, nice backdash. Right stamp locked, 6p. Okay, still get the flying stuff, good. Yeah, definitely. Good use of the follow up to try to mess with the anti air, but. Make a pirate. Is 6 8 6 8 actually good on normal stagger? He I mean, can never tell until somebody punishes it. Oh! Try, does not get the anti air, eats the JH, and all of this to follow. Oh. Goes to the wake up DP, and you may well just be dead. Oh! Can't tell if that was supposed to be a burst. burst throw, but hey. Last chance to lose for Vicky here. Right. That was nuts. That was cool as hell. Alright. Vicky is. Oh, blocks the dead angle, gets another throw. We ain't okay, out of this yet. Yeah, but you could tell Vicky is so aware that a wake up DP could be around every corner. Oh, and Sidewinder to blow up that air to air. Yeah, I don't even know what that Sidewinder was supposed to be, but. <laughs> it could well have just been supposed to be that very thing. Could be. Force Break Sidewinder. I don't know what the input for Force Break Sidewinder is, so I don't know how you could do that. Whether you would ever do that accidentally. Air. Yeah, so you know? Yeah, there you go. So, what was that but that? I mean, I have to imagine Force Break Sidewinder's hitbox is pretty decent. So, as far as an air to air situation when you just need one hit to kill someone? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, probably. It, it might even be disjointed. So, do we get a Cell versus Furok next? Yeah. Because that should be a real treat. Uh, as Teller has told me, he's not afraid of difficult neutral. Well, we're about to find out. Because uh, I don't know if you saw Thelo fight some uh, Testament players in previous tournaments, but uh, you want to see miracles happen, he's the player to watch. Oh, well, I'm excited to see this. As per usual, I like to see Thelo navigate matchups that, well, I'm still learning. Yeah, it's definitely Oops. a hard one for Justice, because obviously Justice has to go in, because Testament just has way too much good stuff to set up from full screen. So, yeah, it's, I mean, you know, it's obviously hard to go in on Testament when you don't have a dash or an air dash. Yeah. So, let's see, Thello, I mean, definitely has the experience to navigate this, so let us see how it, see how it goes. Yes, if anyone's going to win this matchup uh, for us, it will be Thello. Alright, here we go. Ooh, goes for the round star counter, I love it. Yeah, it's cheeky. It's, it's fair enough. Nice sweep. That's all out of play. Gotta be careful, you know the frog above that counter. Oh, catches out of the... That's bad. Yep, but crab grabs with the Michael Sword, or Michael Blade. Yeah, Damn, so not interested in letting... Not interested in letting Frog set up anything. Great. There you go. That's, that is the way that can be done. Alright. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Ooh, and it... Both players think and throw, but here we go. Thello is cursed. But not anymore. 
great air pipe. Both of these characters have really fast overhead, so if either of them is close, you just have to guess high low. Oh boy, alright. Oh, Grave Digger is so hard to punish. Yeah, yeah but you know. Maintain the, the, the nice JK, but nothing out of it. That EXE beast, the net over your head, you hate to see it. Damn, well, there you go. That's the way you can be Grave Digger. You use that DP. Alright, knock down in the corner. Try to set up a beast. I was really hoping for a combo off of that nuke, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, it looked like it might have been far flat off. Oh, of it. backdash over the EXE beast. That's gorgeous. Alright. Nice use of the counter, but Grave Digger oh, in the corner. Oh. Chases down the backdash, but the JH and the IK. I think the IK taunt is well deserved after uh, after that. Yeah, I mean, there you go. It can be a very frustrating matchup, but Delo, a justice who is willing to be aggressive when it calls when the situation calls for it, and this situation definitely calls for it. Yeah, I mean, Delo's an E Honda player in Super Turbo, so he's not afraid of bad matchups. There you go. I love this. I love it. I respect it. All right. Well, let's see if Farrakh has some adjustments. I mean, you know, Farrakh's going to play the style that Farrakh plays. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a round star counter from both players right now. Oh man, my reads there bad. All right, all right. He's set up. Takes the burst. Yeah, you can see Justice trying to set up Duke without eating an EXD beast for it, which is obviously pretty hard. Yeah, absolutely. Master Puppet's unlocked. Big Tree is in play. So we gotta keep that in mind for a fellow who makes the way out of this corner. Oh, oh try to push him into the Big Tree for the on OTG. Nice, but you know, even however the rest of this round. The fact that that nuke doesn't break that force break skull is kind of awful, but here we are. Oof, and this very well might do it. I mean, guts is a thing. DP. Blocks the overhead, I guess. Yeah, all it blocks. Another force break skull, though. Oh, you'd hate to be cursed with this much health. Yep. Yeah. I wonder what that 6H was meant to be. I mean, perhaps hoping there was slightly more meter for a Michael Blade. Another. These players definitely think a throw. All oh, right, you're you're all in play. Throw. And that's right into the poison. So we'll probably have to burst here. Yeah. yeah, that was going to be extremely painful. Oh, so yeah, we'll, so may this be. I just saved my burst for poison combos against Tetsuman because like they just do the most by far. Yeah, and that looked like an attempted superior trance that was caught, and now Bello just very low on options and life. But here we go. Warren brings Testament into Justice's vicinity and follow that nuke in. Oh, you can just warrant the nuke. Or was that yeah, regular teleport? I, I don't know, but I believe. I know that uh, Farrakh has been using Warrant on projectiles in the tournament to just reposition clever stuff. Alright, I mean, Thelo hanging on here, all things considered. Dang, that move is tough to punish. Oh, gets the air to air. Doesn't kill off of it. Oh, Superior right oh, up in your face. Free. Yeah. Had to try to burst there, but here we are. Nice yeah, stuff by Burak there. Good recovery. Alright. Well, all comes down to this last game for these two players. Tournament lives. Yeah, it looks like Shirok might have just figured it out. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, both players, very, very experienced. Plenty of room for adjustment. I think Thelo's still got something left in the tank. I'm still looking for the round start double counter from these two guys, you know. Yeah, I mean, Thelo's definitely a strong old player, so it's not over, but... Dang! Well, one, of the two, one out of two ain't bad. Alright, trees in play. But I'll see if this there. round takes us back over there. Ooh, that first. Yeah, that first was weird. You never like to see it. Knocked over to the tree. Oh, the tree actually right. interfered there. Stop yeah. the Ooh. The teleport to mess with the XCB blocking. Oh, brutal. Alright. Just, yeah. 
putting those skulls up in the air just stop Justice's the limited air mobility. Man, in most matches the teleport's not super relevant, but in this one it just seems like one other thing that just takes. Great, great air throw. Oh, not a fan of that tree being there, but great blocks, great throw, and this is an opportunity here. Yeah, that was not a big example of him to like. Wow, I am actually kind of surprised that. Well, how did Testament live there? Yeah, it it looked like Testament was just doing like a quick like a little two K or something. I'm surprised it was still going when that Michael Blade activated. But Stella taking that around. I was just surprised that Stella didn't kill off the Michael Blade. Just you had to, but I mean, got it anyway. Ooh. All right. Oh, just cursed. Test Running the game, major life lead. Stella corners like himself. With that curse combo. Indeed, Stella cornered themselves, but gets the throw. So, all right, cursed once more. Wow, Air Michael Sword catching out of the teleport. Great. And then the well, all right, trying to use a cheeky Michael Blade to catch out of all the trap setups, but definitely not doing something at the time. Trying to get away oh, from that. Almost avoided the FB curse. Almost. So close, but still there. Oh, gets a hit! Alright, oh, Druk! Druk needs to make this count, oh, and that, 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 that's is gonna, that is going to make this count. Oh, you hate to see it! Right, I hate tell to see him. it. Yeah, but Tell has just got to take a breath. This is not over. That is unlikely to get a burst back, but you never know. Oh, boy. Alright, already cursed, but gets the hit with the pro lady still. Yeah, all right. killed by the crow's at the last moment. Alright, alright. Oh, gets hit by another beast. Conversion by Furok. To the corner. Unlocks. This is not a favorable situation. That tree is still somewhere. Oh, there it is. Alright, oh, avoid the tree. Nice, nice stuff. Hmm. Looks Perhaps trying okay, to again. Tree, uh, down. Oh, and that's that. Oh, yep. the poison tree. Yeah, you are dead. And great stuff by Frog. That fellow recovering there a bit, but not quite enough. All right. Oh, that burst was so tragic. I just yeah, that was brutal. You hate to see it, but you know these things come and they go. That's going to be. It's going to be Thello's, Thello's exit from this tournament, and now we have our top four, top four in place. We have winner side Tails and Jace, and loser side Farrakh and Nuclear Cheese. Hmm, yeah, I guess it's anyone's game at this point. And now for something completely different for Farrakh, going from playing against Justice to playing against Soul. Oh yeah, that's a huge change of pace. <laughs> Take that knob, turn it to 11, and break it off. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> says Farrakh. I really, really love Quick Chat. Yes, the conversation! I mean, these two have also played for eons. You know, ever, right? ever. In, yeah. in the Forever Club, for sure. Yeah, this is another one of those, like, their cave paintings portraying this matchup, or these two players playing each other. And I love it. Yes. We all hope that, you know, we in this, these pandemic days, we don't get to see each other in person very often. Haven't seen Nuclear Cheese in dang near a year. Hope you're doing well. We'll see each other soon enough. Soon enough. <laughs> nice and here. Player, though, so. That's true. Who never shows up to anything. Um, Alright, DXE Beast. Another... Damn. Keeping Cheese in check. Alright. Oh, oh another good beast. I love it. With a conversion off of said beast as well. Just, you know, strong composed play by Farak here. But, everybody can stay composed until you take Grand Viper to space. Yeah, until one thing goes wrong. Alright, well, here we are. This could be the beginning of something horrifying, but the reversal super into the combo to finish it off. Stop sign that momentum right quick. Alright, nice warrant on the gun flame. Ooh, good use of the right stamp to avoid the beast, though. Yeah, I was surprised that went over, but... Didn't get yeah, like, over, so. yeah, right stamp, yeah, it yanks you off the ground. You can't counter that! There you go. That's the answer to Warren. Wild effing throw. 
Nice back dash from the Tyrant Rave. Oh, throw between the hits, I think that was. Throw, yeah, throw right into the net. Dang. Oh, Tyrant Rave doesn't care. Is he trying to flash back? I bet he was flashbacking. Very possible. Alright. Nice warrant. Alright. Back dash to the beast. Throws out of the bandit. Oh, that's big damage considering the poison. Yeah, absolutely. Oof. Still going. Nice block on the beast, but can't block. Yes. Alright, ready for the reversal super this time. But that'll do it. Alright. Dang. All right, well, Farrakh, keeping keeping cheese at bay for game one. Yeah, he looks like he's very focused right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's Farrakh's got that momentum going after taking the match against Stello, riding it still. But never, ever count nuclear cheese out. <laughs> cheese will run face first into you as hard as possible. Here we go. Nice cross up. Down flame. Tagged by the beast. Hey. Okay. That good proper punish. Gets his bird. Tries to warrant. Gets gun flamed out of grave digger. Not a not a favorable burst. Sidewinder. Sidewinder again. All right. Well, there you go. Pretty sizable life lead for cheese. Air dash is in. Doesn't care about that beast. I like that 3A anti air, that was pretty good. Nice warrant to deal with the gun flam. Uh, takes the corner and the curse, which is a great situation for Furrock, but oof, Gravedigger out of the bandit. Oh, that was almost a sick conversion. I thought we were oh, yeah. flash, not far flash. RC on the Grand Viper to continue the pressure and takes the round. Alright. Alright. Jump back gun flam. Allows Furrock to set up a bit though. Tree is there. Yep. Had to respect it. Okay, overhead. Yep. Great beast pressure. Woo! Gets away from the Badlands. Ready for the warrant on the gun plane this time. Fafnir, Tyrant Rave. Yeah, RC the warrant to be safe, so. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, definitely respecting that 3H now. Cheese is having, some, having to navigate so much here. Yep. Nets everywhere. Grave Digger gets it. All right. Well, game for match point for Furok. That Badlands doesn't quite hit into the net. That net is still there. There it is. Okay. Good punish. Get First the out. Yeah. That tree is in play. That's gonna knock it up. Oh yep. Oof. Oh great. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still good. Like it's, the beauty of testament combos, I guess, is that like they're still cool even when they don't work as well as they'd like. That's wild throw into the corner, sidewinder. Number two, number three. All right, big damage. Five D, but not the full hit. Yeah, getting hit by the gunplane first save from yeah. the rest of the combo. Yeah, one more hit will pretty much do it. Their burst is still in play, but. Wow, nice use of the reverse look. Get the poison. This is oh, gonna yeah, turn huge, things yeah. around. Oh, that drop thing's big. Grand Viper RC just getting underneath whatever Testament has set up. Nice blocks. Gunflame RC, nice warrant. Oh, these players are just swinging, but Bandit. Bring yeah, I'm surprised Furok didn't burst the previous Big Soul combo. It looked like he was getting a little too low to burst afterwards. Yeah, and then but at the end there, he couldn't use it. At a certain point, it's like almost like the sunk cost kind of situation of just like, well, if I burst now, I, I didn't burst earlier, so now it's just too late. But, ugh, never like to see somebody eat that much damage all at once. But all right, final game between these two players. Just opposite styles, just, you know, she's just being constantly kept just out of range of the violence he wants to inflict. Oh, gets the gun flame. They're both flashy players, but in different ways. And then Furok's like trying to flash back all the time and just going for the really, uh, the really crazy stuff. Goes for the warrant, doesn't get it, has to burst. It's gonna be a, that's an important step of the, the cheese game plan. Taking the burst early. Hit overhead. Bandit. Nice convert. Sidewinder. Another one? Nope. Oh. But 
Definitely gets big damage. Right stand blocked. Bandit flashback. Nice. nice. <laughs> Almost. Ooh. Nice. Again, use of the right stand to evade the beast. Good stuff. Sidewinder, another one. <laughs> oh, zero for a million on these verse mates, but you know. All right, here we go. Match point oh, for. Oh nope, that's bad. Gets a knockdown. Got flame RC. Good blocks by Furox. Still nice anti air as well. Great. Oh, but not quite able to combo off that second net. And other corner, similar pressure. Nice for it, but. Yeah, we've seen twice now one miss in that situation. Yeah, and I mean, like, still in a way, you're getting out of the corner, but... Narc Burst is up for maybe the last hit? Depending on what that yeah, last hit you is. Yeah, would have spent it on the previous combo. Yeah, I mean, it's very... Yeah, any hit is very likely death. Yeah, there you go. Ride Stamp for the kill. Nuclear Cheese just coming on strong at the end. Takes Yeah, I figured it out, out somehow, but I... Yeah... I don't know, it's just it's just disappointing to see. I wanna watch Testament win. Yeah, you know. Great stuff by or I mean whatever though. Strong, just composed as I mean as composed as a wild man player can be, but that's just Yeah, if he's just wide stamping in neutral, is that composed? I don't know. <laughs> I mean whatever. It it is you stick to sticking to the game plan. I'll call that staying composed no matter what. I would say that nuclear cheese has never doubted himself in a match. Unflappable. Single second. Well, that's a kind of composure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like if you gotta, if you keep your mental mental game steady. All right, here we go. And Anji versus Bridget. I'll admit, I've never watched it. Like, just I don't know. I mean. Anji definitely has like that, like super fast super jump, like good air to air capabilities. But let's say J Jace and Mel Bridget as a character have the ability to get into a kind of air that most characters cannot. Yeah, but Anji has a move that's useful only for that situation. That is true. On. That is true. So, huh? I am so excited to see. All right, we got Farrakh calling hacks, um, a noble strategy. Mm, yeah, Tails yeah, all this time. <laughs> yeah, like, this is, like, obviously, we know that Jace's Bridget, Bridget movement is outstanding, but Tails, you know, says that Tails has not played this, this matchup as much as they would like, but no matter what, I'm sure that, I'm sure that there has been some. And no matter what, something will be learned here. All right. Jace, coming in from whatever other tournament they're playing in to join us. Once again, four. What, worth pointing out, three out of five. Winner's finals. Right, yes, three, three of five. Alright. Let's see what these players are going to bring to the table. Jace, hopefully this lobby hasn't broken. The lobby broke. Okay, all right. Off to a all good right. start. <laughs> bear with it. Bear with us for a moment as we, um, you know, plus our lobbies have a habit of occasionally breaking, and you know this one has held up under the weight of this entire bracket so far. But going to need to reestablish it real quick. All right. While this room is being recre recreated, thank you guys for sticking with us. I'll be right back, actually. Already at winner's finals. as we wait for these technical issues to be resolved. Get the players back in this bracket. Back into this new room. 
while we have you, while we have everybody here, and we're getting the lobby back in, I'm gonna drop that GoFundMe link back in the chat. Please, if you, if anybody, if you have the means to support, please do. And we got the players back in. Yeah, I want to see how Tails plays this because I don't, I don't think I've seen Tails play this matchup at all before. Yeah, or at least it's not often. This has potential to be a banger. I mean, like, I don't hate to sound like I'm rooting against one of the players, but, you know, if Bridget allows this to be a banger by <laughs> being catchable at all, I'm, I can't wait to see this, though. Yeah, it should be a good one. Alright, alright, both characters, or both players selecting characters, great sign for the health of this lobby. Alright, yeah, here so we go. Be in there. Winners, finals! Coming up. Holy orders on deck. Who goes for the JD start? I love it. All right, tails. Nice blocks in the overhead. Man, you really don't get much punishing Nagi out of that. No, but hey. All right, out of one corner, into the other. Oh, that's good to take the DP that way. Yep, yeah, takes back to the corner, goes for on nothing. Yeah, Overhead yeah, whiffs on the delayed wake up. Kickstart by Heart back in the corner. Side switch gets the throw. Classic. 5D. Two JDs. Into the Fujin. Alright. Round one the tails. Jace doesn't seem like really setting up the game plan yet. Here we go. Hit the overhead. Nice. Nice blocks. Auto guard special to out. Jagged Roger gets the hit though. Yeah, Jagged Roger beats Fujin easily. Oh yeah. I mean, all it takes is something that's that active. Eventually. Oh, killing machine trying to run away from it. Nice! Stuff by tail. Just Fujining away from the killing machine. Yeah, seeing his killing machine did not accomplish very much there. Hey, that's one way to do it. Like if you if you allow it to hit you, it will, but if you stay the heck away from it, it can. Jagged Roger. Oh, still active through the whole burst. And that's the round of Jace. Alright, goes for the JD run start again. He corners themselves, though. Yeah, kind of uh, awkward. Yeah. Oh, and the yo yo hits out of Fujin. Pressure continues. Oh, gets the overhead. Dang, Jace just relentless. Star oh, jumps the starship. Takes the burst. Killing machine is active. Nice block. Oh, a nice block for the throw is there. Dang. Wow, the pressure from Chase. Yeah, right. it, it looked like Tails tried to Fujin out a bunch of times and just got stuffed by Jagged Roger, uh, Kickstart My Heart, and also just the regular yo yo recall with H. Yeah, like, and you know, we were talking about how Bridget has all these tools to run away, but Jace not. In the in the rounds that are going well, not interested. Just yeah, use this, that yo-yo pressure. This doesn't look like a matchup where you can Fujin very much. Yeah, it's tough. There's just too many act too much activity in Bridget's moves. Oh, well, you dang! Can get there. All right, but Blade wake up, get the throw. Another air throw by Jace, and the corner situation. Yeah, and like you pointed out. Fujining out, a difficult option here, so I'm gonna have to get out of here. Oof, yeah. Jace is ready for the Fujin followers. Air throw into Jagged Roger into Air Throw. Starship to beat the Fujin for another round. Right. Yep, Jagged Roger does not care. Get another Air Throw. Alright. Opportunity for here for Tails. Nice block from Jace though, and jumps out of the corner. Yeah, very clean jump out. Hey, Starship beats Fujin once more. Since Fujin is powerful, but with how active something like Starship is, it will catch it right at the end when it stops being invulnerable. Nice force for or dead angle words. Get overhead and. Should 
do? What? No, too much guts, but get caught low. Wow, Jace, really just bringing the momentum here. Tails, gotta take a breath real quick, recollect. Yeah, it looks like he's getting a little impatient on defense. Yeah, just like, I mean, Fujin as an option is great in a lot of matches, but this one, as you pointed out, doesn't really feel like it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that beats it. Alright, see if Tails has any adjustments to offer, but a three-game straight comeback is not going to be easy. Far from impossible, but definitely not easy. Alright, gets the air to air, but oof, and has the purse blocked. Brutal. Alright, the trade is not too bad. Alright, gets the air to air off the clash. That delayed wake up is just getting so much mileage for Jade. And once again, he's been beaten. Yeah, I mean, Tails did cite un unfamiliarity with this matchup, and it seems to be coming out of the haunt. He's thrown in for Roger. Yep, spending the burst. We'll try to secure this round. And yeah, caught out of the air. Alright, match point for Chase here. Overhead, new cut. Good yep. Yeah. Fighting, fighting out of the corner. Blocks the Fujin, side switch. Alright, okay, there we go, the Tails. And then Big on damage back. on, right back in the corner. Now that's right, some butterfly. damage. <laughs> Delays wake up to not have to deal with the butterfly pressure. Just great stuff. Right, block on Roger, dead angle back into the corner. But, get the air thrown again. Alright, back dash. Another okay, starship. starship. Alright. Goes for the side switch. Jagged Roger, still active all the way through the burst. Nicely done by Jace. Like, you know, Tails showing some signs of life there at the end, but Jace just too strong. Yeah, that, yeah. Just, just a, po a powerful performance there in Winter's Finals, absolutely. Yeah, it looks like Bridget controls neutral very hard in that matchup. Absolutely, just like food. Too many responses to Fujin. Too many moves that are just very, very active. I wonder if maybe we could have seen more 6S. Maybe that would have gone through some of the Rogers, or at least hit Bridget out of stuff. Yeah, it's it's definitely possible. But I mean, Tails drops down into down into losers bracket to face a sight that nobody ever wants to see: nuclear cheese. Fighting for another shot at Jace. Let me remind myself real quick. Oh, well, yeah. When they met earlier in this very bracket, it was Tails who sent Cheese to losers. So, we will yeah, see. If Tails can repeat it. Yeah, if Tails can, is able to make that happen once more, or if Cheese can fight his way into our grand finals. I do love watching these two players fight. All right. Losers finals to see who can face Jace to take this whole tournament and who will be settling for third place this week. Let's get it on. All right, what's our round start? Grand Viper? Nope, jumping. All right. All right, 5k to take the first. Very early bird, but okay. Yeah, you know, you don't want to give Cheese the opportunity to start the momentum up, but it is already happening. Nice Fujin. Oh, bad oh. burst. <laughs> yeah, Fujin follow up does not care about the burst. Right, Sam. Knocked down. Damn! Oh, Two H's right that through that? the Fujin follow up. That 2H was so risky, but it yeah, did work. Timed exactly right, and that will do it. Yeah, Damn. you can beat Rin with a mid after its auto guard ends, but it is not easy or safe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that shows how much experience Nuguchi has in this matchup. Or that he got this very player. Listen, these two have played for so long, I would, I'll would i give Cheese the benefit of the doubt. Nice on, butterfly pressure. Alright, 2D Fujin to the corner. Goes for the 5D with nothing there. Yeah, because she's jumped and got hit by the um, thing in the air. Yeah. Hey, 
if you're gonna get hit by Locks the first. Bandit block. Gun flame. Alright. Not too not sticking any hands into any fire there. Bandit Viper, knock back down. Backdash the bandit. Oh, okay. Yeah, should do it. There you go. I have a meaty mid. I'm not okay. sure what he was trying to do. Probably Volcanic Viper. <laughs> you know. Very fair guess. Run up PP. Ooh, runs a flower throw, but Tail's jumping out of there. Not afraid to Volcanic in neutral. See? <laughs> never, <laughs> never, not afraid. never afraid. Well, it looks like Tail's is trying to jump through there. Fafnir, Tyrant Rave. Yeah, Tyrant Rave good at Tyrant Tyrant Rave bumping. Bumping with Fafnir. There you go. All right, RC's the riot stamp, but just has to block it out. Another Fafnir, another Tyrant Rave. Omega, I believe it is. Whatever. Ooh, another, that same heavy follow-up after Fujin taking another burst. But still, a big hill to climb for Tails here. Ooh, Fujin right through that riot stamp. And the full follow-up on into the back into the corner. Tyrant Rave meter is available, and you could tell Tails is aware. Auto guard. Oh, the delays oh the volcanic viper follow up as long as possible. JD, all players last hit. Oh, and the 5k oh in the air to finish it. That was a clencher of the highest degree. <sighs> all right, but game one cheese. And as per usual, these two players putting on a hell of a match so far. Yeah, never a dull moment. <laughs> Alright. Still in the dark. I love it. Alright, round start. There you go. Alright, Butterfly jumps out. Right now. Alright. Gets an air hit, but not a huge convert. Oof. Oh, Fujin through the 5D, and another bad burst against Rin. That's the yep. third one. Yeah, I mean, alright. Caught with the butterfly. Block, nice blocks, but can't block forever. Jade. Oh. oh, that's an ugly burst. Sidewinder. Weist. Alright, air dash right over the gun flame, though. This. Alright, nope. Looks like that was going to be a combo into an on, but not quite. Sidewinder. Another one. Another one. Oh man. Alright. Big damage takes the corner. What do you got? I want this tyrant rave so bad. Oh, but the 5k! Blocking, oh, <laughs> for sure. Alright. Air dash over the gun flame and gets caught low. Alright. Round of tails. Both players roughly equivalent on burst. Oh, tries to do I'm the jump through but gets caught with the 5k. Alright, jumps out away from the wild throw once more. Fujin, butterfly in the corner, gets hit low. This is gonna hurt. On. Back to mid screen. Butterfly set up. Ready for a volcanic viper or a tyrant rave that does not come. Jumps out. Nice spacing to avoid the bandit. Oh, oh another one! <laughs> That Fujin follow-up is just devouring bursts in this set. Yeah, every every single one, right? No reason to not go for it if it's going to continue to work. And there you go, that's game two to Tails. Very strong response. We have a long way to go. First at that point, you got to either burst immediately after the Fujin or wait until the next move. Yeah, but... Alright, well, that's a, that is a point of adjustment that she's just going to have to be aware of. Otherwise, I mean, Tails has no reason to not continue taking burst with it. Heck of JP is the hair down right to the beat. Huh? Yeah, I mean, go for it. Alright, nice JH. He's convert into the corner, big damage. Gets caught low. Right stamp, just doing it. Fafnir, Tyrant Rave. Hey, right, there it is! Slightly earlier burst, it looks like. Got the job done there. Alright. Does not block the butterfly. Doesn't have to deal with it. Gets hit by the butterfly. Does have to deal with it. Nice. On. Back to the screen. 
Ooh, nice little use of the JD to cross up. Got a huge damage off him though. So much meter that Tails needs to be aware of that Cheese has got though. Alright, dead angle. Still got half meter, goes for another dead angle, but the Fujin slash follow up. Oh my god. Fafnir! Fafnir! Burst is out! Volcanic Viper! Oh man! Goes for the stomp super and catches him out of the air! Wow. Oh. Did not know how that was gonna go even when the super activated. <laughs> All the way I saw the super flash, I thought Tails had it, but yeah. until then I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. All the way up until the flash. Was not certain. Alright, and cheese with the pressure. Alright, yep. I mean, Tails has been very good at backdashing the Fafnir, but that... Alright. Looks like Cheese might have a death. Slightly earlier burst, but not have to keep getting eaten up. Grand Viper. Great blocks, but Fafnir, Tyrant Rave. Still plenty of meter on Soul Side, but great throw for Tails. Yeah, I However, that, right? <laughs> indeed, that option is ever-present. And you know, Tails is ready for it plenty of times, but the one time you're not, it is gonna come get you. Alright, All right. looks like, um, the Tails has definitely been... was very convinced to... Ugh, excuse me. Air-dashing over a lot of gun planes. Cheese is ready, and now... He just went back, but... Top one in the corner... Dead okay, angle to get out of the off. butterfly situation, absolutely. I'll take... you take that. Very heavy delayed, heavy follow-up, but he eats a VV. Ooh! Tagged. Ooh, looks like that was just trying expecting another aggression. Gives that little chance to 2k, but Sidewinder. Sidewinder again! Very, very low, but there is plenty of meter on Tails inside. Yep, stop super. Not catching anything. Oh, oh, another burst into Rend. I think oh. it's a rip. Oh, but another burst again. Also for Tails getting caught. Cheese. These games, they're so back and forth. This one to Cheese. Alright. What do you got? Alright. Cheese, definitely thinking about music here. Alright. Cheese, these these get these is just going back and forth, trading games, but now to put tails on the ropes here. Backdash the round star vibe volcanic viper. First clean hit and the burst taken away. Brutal. Alright, JD into the corner. Tails the chance here. Burst out. Right back in there. Nice. Loves to use that fusion hop throw. Run up wild throw, didn't jump out this time, and this is gonna hurt. Sidewinder. Another one. Oof, tries to 2 H, but gets caught. On. So much meter on cheese inside. Yep. Not not shy about using that angle. Nor about Grand Viper. Absolutely. Sidewinder combos once more. Stomp super to Evades the run up wild throw, but doesn't really punish it. These are wild. Yeah, and then got hit by the right. overhead ride. Brown start back dashes in the stereo. I love it. Ooh, Fujin just out of range, but does get caught by the gun flame. Sidewinders. Oh, sent back mid screen. Ooh, goes for the cross up. Doesn't get it. And tails. Not a lot of meter, so, yep. Gonna have to do something honest. Oh, what? Oh, was, what was Tails doing there? Trying to bridge it through or something? Yeah, yeah, either that or guard cancel something. But that did not. That was a big bet. And it did not pay off. Oof, the pressure continues. This is just about the last chance for Tails here, and that ooh, any hit will pretty much do it. And there you go. We got that Grand Viper RC pressure. Take it. Alright.
Tails unable to repeat the earlier feat of taking a set off of Nuclear Cheese. Slightly longer set plays out in Cheese's favor. Yeah. Tails going to have to settle for third place this week. And Nuclear Cheese will advance to take on Jace, player who's, as of yet, this week, Cheese has not contacted. They're on other sides of the of the winner's bracket. And, well... We'll see how this one goes. I do not recall these guys have played. I assume these folks have played. Yeah, we've seen I believe them play I might have even recently. I might have even commentated it last week. I have no idea. I'm terrible at remembering things. If not last week, then the, le- the, the week before. Indeed. I mean, perennial top top contenders in our brackets here. But, you know, she's got the tall order of chasing down Bridget for two whole sets here. And, I mean, we also... May? Uh, who knows? If I mean, you know, we are still aware that Jace has been in another tournament. Do not know if... Nope. Jace at least reacting to, to match calls in Discord, which is a great sign. Mm. Right. Get Jason here to play our Grand Finals. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you think about it... Uh... <laughs> Cheese won't need that many opportunities in order to uh, uh, to win, but it's still very difficult to get them. It won't take too many hits, but hits are not easy to come by with this mobile of a character. Yeah, I mean, whenever I'm facing Bridget, I just think to myself, you know, I can I can get hit by as many far slashes or successes as I want because <laughs> the damage is just not there, and eventually I will find my perfect hit. Yeah, Bridget definitely, definitely lacking in the damage department, but able to get as many hits as it takes. Especially in, like, we saw that in Jace's previous matchup, just unloading over and over again. Getting getting hit after hit after hit in the corner. Mm. But I mean, your pressure is going to have to be very, very tight against a player like Cheese, who will unabashedly reverse light you. Yes, Jace is not afraid, so Jace has to be ready for that. But I think Jace should have adjusted since the last few times they fought. Yeah, absolutely. Knows, I mean, you can definitely be aware of what Cheese is going for, but like, even if you're not caught by surprise, you can still get caught. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Grand Finals! Yep, alright. Briefly had a moment of, oh no, did the lobby break, but we seem to still be going. Yes, let's at least see a bracket reset. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I want to see this go all the way. <sighs> Here we go. Strap in. It's time for something electric. <laughs> and let the intro rock all the way. I love it. And grab star far slash. Whoa. Jagged Roger just active enough to hit a quick hit. Nope, convert. Right, has to respect it, right stamp, back dash to the far slash. Oh, no, no punish on the viper. Block, blocking the pressure. Look, the yo-yo is across the screen, looking for an opportunity to do something with it. Alright, get the hit. There it is. Great IED combo is pretty sick. Yeah, nice combos, killing machine out. Nice dump, dead angle, but the killing machine was still active. Get swept. Alright, another dead angle, but such a long road for Cheese to go here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know. But he cannot even get tagged, and that yo-yo was happy to do it. Alright, gets the knockdown in the corner after the Volcanic Viper. Gunflame! A couple of straight hits, but no conversions there. And there you go, Starship. Woo. A couple of clashes early. Oh. Narrowly evades that Viper. Or the Bandit, but not the Viper. Air dashing back in with the JPs. Oh, they're gold burst. Nice. Grand Viper! You have a lot of meter, but no burst. You can't be dropping that kind of clean hit combo. <laughs> that is valid. Oof, man. Has the burst out, but right back in there with the pressure. Gets Riot Stamp! Sidewinder! All right, big life lead for Cheese, but at least to finish it off. Nice RC on the kickstart of my heart. Tyrant raid locked. It was a success. 
<laughs> tagged with the volcanic viper, but it does trade, so not able to do the follow up. Plenty of meter for cheese here. We got a couple of RCs or a big old tyrant rave. There it is. Lock the Dragon Roger gets thrown. What do you got here? Goes for the riot oh. stamp, but gets caught. Oof. But hits the air to air and converts. All right. All around. Whoa. Big clash on that. It looks like a six H. I believe. Riot stamp. The yo yo is out there, but so far away from Bridget now. All right, there we go. Use the burst to get the yo yo back. There we go, and maintain the pressure now. Start run of Starship blocked. That Starship up RC, pretty good. Alright, gets the air to air into the volcanic, but the yo yo gets another hit. Okay, Grand okay. Viper RC, Grand Viper RC, Grand Viper! <laughs> Nuclear cheese is out of control! <laughs> yeah, I mean, after every Grand Viper, it's RC, and then is there another Grand Viper, or is it Wild Throw, right? <laughs> that was the best. I'm sorry, I'm dying. I, I didn't All realize Cheese right. had the um had the meter for the second RC. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> I mean it cranked the shit out of the guard bars, so any hit would have been lethal after all that. Yeah, every time I play against Cheese and I block Grand Viper, I'm just annoyed because I know I'm still in the mix up. <laughs> that was fantastic. Alright! So there you go. She's on the board. Air that. Jumps over the gun flame, but doesn't actually get a hit off of it. Jagged Roger does though, and air thrown into the corner. That's how it starts. Goes for the little butt bump, but damn this movement. Oof. Sparks. The kickstart sparks. Tag him. Call with Riot Stamp. As far away from that yo yo as you can get, but fast. She's about to push Bridget right back into it. There's the recall. There's proper knockdown. Yep. Flame, Fafnir. Ducks. Pirate Rave RC. Hedging the bets, but also able to convert when it does hit. Nice confirm. R slash. Big 6 H. Alright, there we go. Nice punish on the kickstart by heart. Taken all the way to the other corner. But escapes the corner yet again. Starship. Sidewinder, are you dead? Nope, not oh, quite. Not quite. Mid screen. But so much meter for cheese and also for Jade. Oh, far right, dead angles out. Cheese just trying to maintain pressure, but dead angles like Right back, Riot Stamp to finish it. And another one. Yeah, back to the corner, Riot Stamp is so annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just corner him and you're like, oh, I'm gonna like medium him with some uh, low move or whatever, and you just get hit. Yeah, like, yeah, Soul just like yoinks up off the ground so fast with Riot Stamp. It's tough to manage. And it All is right. overhead, so. All right, there you go. Back to back games for Cheese here. Going for this reset as hard as possible. And Jace, I mean, still has some time. Still has some time to give here, but you don't want to let this momentum keep building. Oh, there, that's JP's to volcanic. Yeah, if you're if you're losing two in a row like that, that's kind of a bad omen. Even if you have the bracket reset left, air dash is out of the corner. Gets the anti air. All right, tries to lock on. Gunflame RC. This pressure. All right, burst to maintain the corner. Delayed wake up. Batman, Tyrant Rave. All blocked. Bridget just getting the heck out of there. Right. It's another it. hit. I mean, even like the, the little strayish hits just convert into a volcanic viper for sizable damage. Not like obviously the super optimal stuff, but it's adding up. Nice throw from Jace though. And oh, blocks the uh, instant overhead. Yeah, great blocks. Dragon install. Let's go. Yeah, was that intentional? Who cares? Let's go. All right. Gonna use it. You all oh, has to burst. Yep. All right. I mean, hey, intentional or not, definitely worked out. But nice 5K. Oh, right on the show. 
Cray cross up, riot stamp, air dash, JH. You cannot escape. Alright, reset points for nuclear cheese. R slash again. Fun up volcanic. Oh, Damn, this is still going! So much damage. Wow! And a counter hit Gunflame! Sidewinder! This is pain! There will be a burst coming back, but with almost no hell. Yeah, that's and, really hard. Yeah, there's not really... You might be best served just trying to Gold Burst to get some meter at this point, because a hit is likely to be lethal. Oof. Yeah, there you go. Reset Racket! Nuclear Cheese just running over! Jace there! Alright, well, we're all loser bracket now. Yeah, that's... Yeah, very, very authoritative. Here we go. Let's see, Jace... I mean, it could have all been just data collection right there. Jace has... I mean, they've, these, these folks have fought in the past, but... Let's see if Jace can adjust here to the just relentless, unflappable pressure offered by Nuclear Cheese. Yeah, it just... It seems hard. Jace is just not getting very much damage. Yeah, I mean, low damage character versus extremely high damage character. It does take so many hits for it to kill somebody. But... It's just flame. Does really unsafe stuff, and is punished for it, it's just not for very much. Yeah, exactly. Like, Cheese might as well just keep going for it, because even though Jace does have the combos, the damage is just not very high. Oof, Sidewinder. Another one. Another- What the heck? <laughs> Oof. Absolutely brutal. First to maintain okay, pressure, but it is blocked. How many do you got? Oh, I wanted it. Alright, just all these JPs. Anything will do it. And Fast Mirror is what does it. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Unfortunate. Yeah, I mean... Alright, Bandit's over the sweep. Who gets success right out of the guy. But even then, like, not enough damage to dissuade the, this player from just continuing. Alright. Nothing doing on the yo-yo recall. Yeah, I think I want to see Jace just mashing Starship more. I mean, that was a nice... I mean, the Jagged Roger is another nice option just because of how active it is just to try and jail the maniac. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nice convert. Starship again. The yo-yo's in play. Nice. Recall, reset, recall again. There yeah, you go. Very clean round. Deep. Alright, Jace, alright. Going on the offensive. Nice blocks, though. Oh, run up Volcanic, but corners himself. Yo-yo's coming. Good 5k, great Volcanic as well. Alright, she's potentially back in the driver's seat here, but nice anti-air for Jace. Beautiful combo. Navigating over the Jagged Roger, Fafner, block. Oof, knocked down in the corner, Cheese has all the meter in the world, and Jace has none! Alright, Volcanic RC, Gold Burst for <laughs> yet more meter! Alright. Jace, however, maintaining, has the life lead, just trying to keep this... Oh! The Tyrant Rave right through the gap! Gunflame RC, the life lead is no longer Jace's. Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> Roger with the belly flop, does not... Oof. Oh, didn't think it was hit. Oh, tries to backdash, but gets chased down by Kickstart My Heart. Oh boy, and that should okay, be it. Ah. Alright. Wow, barely off with the RC. Yeah, yeah. You have to do that for damage, that's just... Hey, Jace will do whatever it takes to take that game and... Takes the first lead of the set for Jace. Or the first lead of this grand finals, I suppose. Unless you count starting in winners. Yeah. Alright. Uh, could this this could very well just be the momentum swing that Jace needs, but I mean again, never never count out nuclear trees just going right back to the game plan and punching people in the face. What do we got? Big six H round start. Well blocked. Oh, good yo-yo. Right. Yeah, nice air to air. Use the yo-yo. Maintain pressure. Nice sweep. Takes the corner, but Riot stamps out. Delayed wake up. Not enough. Blocks the burst. Sidewinder. It's gonna hurt. Oh. 
three of them, bandit revolver into the corner, runs up wild throw, but gets starship. Yeah, that's the starship I want to see. Oh yeah. Alright, another one, and you, hey, you were not wrong, just use that there starship to continue keeping this dude at bay. Dead angle, dead angle right back into the corner, gunflame RC, oh, nice anti air on the bandit ringer. Yeah, but no reward off it. Yeah. Oh, not oh ran out of meter, could not, faultless everything. Another round in the books for cheese. Gets tagged with the overhead, takes the corner. Nice air throw. Sets up that yo-yo. Tries to try and stamp out, but gets caught. There we go. Alright, now knew that the yo-yo was in play and had to respect it. Nice right stamp. And again, Bert, so Sidewinder. Sidewinder again. Just had to back off and let the yo-yo run its course, but now Bridget doesn't have or has it in pocket. Alright, set once more. Corners himself though. Good use of the yo-yo. Nice for oh, Tyrant Rave blocked and doesn't need to be a high damage punish there. Just one hit will do it. Always oh, good to see rounds end by far flash. Oof, uses the rise stamp to evade the overhead and get a hit. Big cross up. Nice starship once more to stop sign. Blocks the kickstart with the little sparks there, does it? Alright, first to avoid the Grand Viper, Jagged Roger, but there you go, use that gun flame to stop the kickstart my heart. Coming right back in. Back in. Absolutely. 6H, bandit. Oof. No combo there though. So much meter for both of these players. So much can happen here. To the volcanic. Does not want to get punished. Great throw, Jagged Roger. Still so much meter for cheese, but the killing machine is in play. Okay, yeah, that's Ooh. Oh. not a pull. Oh, but Jagged Roger is there! It's another game for Jace. Oof. You never like to see anybody die with as much meter as she's just had, but, you know. That's what, 2 0 Jace? Yes, indeed. In this reset set, Jace has found footing and put Cheese onto the ropes. But, you know, if anybody's going to run back into the three games straight and rattle them right off, Clear Cheese can do it. So, here we go. All right, nice, re nice response to the round star far slash, which Cheese was using a lot in that first set. Oh, but oh, and nice. back to the first, that's gross. All right, but not as much of a big damage punish on that burst as it could have been, let's say. Jagged Roger is there, but not quite active enough. But oh dear, still cornering himself. Stamp over thing, so annoying. Killing machine, but. Yep, Grand Viper is great until there's a bear on a bicycle. Nice pressure from Jay's. Grand Viper again. RC's continued pressure. Side switch. Oh, this guard bar is so cranked and there's no burst. If Jace gets hit, this is gonna hurt, but will not get hit. Tournament point for Jace. Yeah, very close. Again. She still has burst, and wow, that was very interesting. Got tagged by the Roger, but used the opportunity to go up and catch Bridget again. Locked on. Oh, just a regular hit? Okay. Oh, and corners himself with Volcanic Viper, and that's gonna be rough. Iron Rave. Riot Stamp, RC, Grand Viper, but the punish. This killing oh, machine could, could very well be what seals it. An air thrown into the me and my killing machine. Jace taking this week's Boston Blue Beat Online 2.3 with a fantastic recovery after a big, a commanding reset. Jace always the master of air throws, as we have seen. Absolutely. But, you know, in that grand finals, we got to see both players just run their game for one of those two sets. Yeah. That was outstanding. Yeah. Yeah, 
amazing, like, heck of a first set by Nuclear Cheese, just running absolutely over Jace. But then Jace collected, downloaded, you might say, and brought it right back. For that second set. Man. Absolutely. But that dude put Cheese on the back foot and just kept it up until taking the tournament. Great work. Yeah, so, just set Jagged Roger and hold down the heck. <laughs> Why not? Absolutely. That was an uh, awesome, awesome set, though. I mean, watching it yeah. basically, the momentum swing from one way to the other, that's that's the kind of, like, leveling up and stuff that you, like, you really, like, love to see in fighting games. It's, like, really cool. Um, Hell of a grip. But uh, this is, in fact, the first time Jace has uh, won a uh, blue beat. Uh, so congratulations, Jace, uh, on being the conqueror of New England for this week. Um, we'll, we'll take it back. We'll take it back. Um, yes, she's failed to repel these foreign invaders. This time, but you know, yeah, it'll yeah, always yeah. be next time. It's still gonna happen. Um, speaking of <laughs> of uh, local uh, local legends and, and people we love, um, there was a uh, tragic loss um, as we opened uh, tonight and mentioned earlier um, in the Boston uh, FGC community. Um, Henry was uh, killed um, in an act of racial violence. Um, it kind of shows us how far we still have to go. Um, but a fundraiser is set up uh, for his uh, for his family, uh, for his kids, and his partner and his mom. Um, and the link is right there in the chat. Um, so if you got a couple bucks you can spare and throw their way, that would be um, truly deeply appreciated um, by all of us. Uh, and, uh, and and not to end on too sour of a note, folks, we will be, in fact, back next week, um, and we will be uh, running Plus R, so you can get those uh, last couple of reps in uh, for Frosty Fastings. Uh, hope a lot of y'all are, are stoked for that next week. I know I'm entered, so I have to fix this uh, 55-233 uh, situation real fast. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I'll be there, right there with you, trying to do the same. Yeah, yeah so uh, if our bracket is on the 28th, then that would be the day before Frosty has theirs, I think. Uh, I, I believe think, so. I think so. I think Frosty starts on uh, on the 29th. So get those last minute reps in. Uh, come scout. Come scout out your opponents, and we'll uh, we'll catch you next week on the 28th. Yeah. Mm, yeah, and also, we will be back here tomorrow night for Blaze Blue. Yes. Same blue beat time, or roughly same blue beat time, and definitely same blue beat channel. Yes, for sure. And yeah, they've been having uh, like sick turnouts recently yeah. like they've been like bangers of brackets these yeah folks have been yeah doing. it's been it's been awesome so if you if you want to watch some some good ass blaze blue i'll tell you what tune in tomorrow yeah same yeah like you said same i was about to say same bad time same bad channel which is as good a sign as any as it's it, that it's uh time to sign off for the evening folks um thank you all so much for showing up craig black a delight to have you on commentary um as always mm -hmm. Um, and until next time, folks, uh, be excellent to each other, uh, and, uh, party on, y'all. <laughs>